Hi everybody, we're still here, we're just sort of like, we've picked up an extra player and hopefully another one's not too far away and then we'll start, so apologies, but we'll be back shortly. Okay, we're back. Uh, we haven't had any of the other players. We're trying to chase them up, but uh, we're going to get into it. And I'm going to run their characters for them so they can suck and see what they get left with at the end of the... Uh, or when <laughs> they arrive. So, um, <clears throat> in essence, we're using Fancy Grounds, as you can see on the screen. We've got the map. This is the GM view. Uh, all of my players have... Absolutely promised me that they're not looking at this, so that's all good. Um, Fantasy Grants is really good, and uh, you really should go and check it out. Um, 
and it's sort of like its version for Dungeon Crawl Classics is also bloody awesome. Uh, just a few things. I'm going to focus on my players and not on the Twitch stream. So if you chat there, thank you. But I will probably miss it because I never ever look at my second screen. I'm really bad like that. I'm not so. so we will get into the story. This is Taverna. You are. Uh, oh, this is probably all in the first story bit. Okay, so your characters who live in a city called New Avram. New Avram's a city that sits in amongst the mountain mountainous regions of a very large continent and a and a, in a country called Ridgeline. Um, you're probably about as far as possible away from seas or large water and all that sort of stuff. You, you work hard, you play hard. New Avram is quite a big city um, from a fantasy game sort of perspective. And you're all people that live and work in and around it. You have come to the tavern. So the Willing Travelberries always bring in a big crowd at the Burning Boat Inn. The rowdiest inn in all of New Avram attracts all of the big acts from the capital of Regeline, and you were certain that you had to catch them. Travellers have been climbing to your mountain city for months, mentioning seeing them perform in inns on the path here. And they are here, as they say, for one night only. Build at Bracegirdle and his family are run off their hairy little feet, trying to keep the ale out to the customers by the time the band take the floor. The tunes are raging, the ale is flowing and the food is hot and thick. You're even pretty sure that it has some actual meat in it tonight, not just the meaty mountain mushrooms that they normally pass off as steak in here. So, what you can do now, just to sort of like get a feel for things, is introduce your characters, um, because I promise I will be referring to your character names, because I have no idea whose character's who. I just see a nice big long line of them. So, we will start with Kevin. Kevin, introduce your four characters, who they are, and what they do. Ah, Condafruitera. <laughs> Which is an Australian name that you would recognise if you're Australian. But I don't, I don't know. I haven't been looking at these things. You haven't had the server up, so... Oh, I, haven't had I it have actually had the server up for a long time. But well, anyway. didn't it show red on mine? Okay. I'm sorry, so, Kevin. I know. You should be. Hmm. Um, so what is Con the Fruiterer? He's, He's a got a two-weapon fighting skill. So it, And look, going by characteristics... He's my tank, uh, digger, Just got stamina, don't know I, what that means. All I was after was Con the Fruiterer. He's, he's, oh, yeah? I thought you wanted all of them. No, yeah, oh, like, I mean, just Con the Fruiterer, he's a costermonger. That's oh, that's, you didn't, oh, I thought you were looking for a uh, background but, and well, storyline. and If you've got a no, background no. and storyline. And Wom if you Wombat do... the Blacks, Wombat the Blacksmith, actually he looks more like the uh, Combat Wombat, <laughs> which makes sense, doesn't it? And Lysergic D, a uh, dwarf. Where's Wombat the Combat? I can see Con the Fruiter. He's up here. Wombat's got 14 strength and 14 stamina. Ah, uh, there's Wombat. Wombat's hidden behind my combat tracker. Okay. Righto, so you've got Wombat. She Con... is, going by the picture, she is a, a woman of great strength. <laughs> Con the Fruiterer, Lysergic D, and another one? Digger and Black and Wombat. Digger, right. Okay. Uh, so it turned very Australiana. Cool. Con the Fruiterer is definitely a popular culture reference. In Australia, yeah. So. <laughs> in a, yes. <laughs> Yeah, um, if you are not Australian, go on YouTube, Con the Fruiterer. He's, uh, you, oh, actually, it's probably incredibly racist these days, so don't. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. It, it may take a couple of days. Yeah, gosh. <laughs> beautiful. Right on. Um, so Kevin is our resident retiree. We have two of them. And they rub it in our faces all the time. Uh, he's a Queenslander, uh, so please hold. Queenslander! That please hold that against him. Uh, we'll move on to our other retiree, um, who's a New Zealander. Oh, Andy Barracks for Geelong, who won the premiership last year. Christ sakes! 
Uh, Libby, all of your characters just survived. Apparently all the rocks bounced off them onto Kevin's characters. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Libby's a New Zealander and she's about to tell us who her four characters are. I live in New Zealand, but I'm an American. Well, there is that. That might confuse a few people. Very, And we all think she's from Texas. Uh-oh. That's bad. Those fighting words, mate. <laughs> But oh, Mississippi. Mississippi. Um, let's see. We might just supposed to say who they are. Yep. Who they are and what their occupation is. Just so I can kind of get a visual oh, on where they are. There's Riffin. He's a dock worker. Okay. And he's the one that carries the role-playing book. Yes. Okay, cool. Arthund is the caravan guard with the linen. Cool. Brickio. Where are you? Why are all of yours in a row and Kevin's are all over the place? But anyway. They're not. I have one at the end. And there's Brickio. He's a cooper. Cool. And he does. He has a barrel, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and then Will I is, um, Will High is a hunter. And he's got pretty useful stuff. A deer pelt, a lantern, and a short bow. I really like his portrait, Will I's. Yeah, it's great. That's, eh? that's one of my favourite ones. I wish I could see it bigger. Uh, should be, maybe, maybe not. Uh, no, you can't. Tough luck. Um, I do have them somewhere, so I'll maybe put them in after we work out who lives and who dies. Uh, we'll take it around to James. James is a lawyer from Newcastle, not to be mistaken from the other lawyer from Newcastle that we have who's not here, but we'll go with James at the moment. The good lawyer from Newcastle. The the lawyer that actually works for a living and isn't on He's holiday the entire time. <laughs> James is the lawyer. He's the barrister. Mike Matt. Isn't Matt yes. a barrister and you're a solicitor? That's correct. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. The lawyer's below the solicitor. No, the the barrister is means they've taken the bar exam, as far as I understand it. All that's how I remember it. They're the ones that can go yeah. in, that go to court. And the solicitor gets picked up by police for standing on the side of the road for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whilst the barrister <laughs> makes yeah. coffee. Oh, okay. The, um, yeah, fair enough. Oh, we have, uh, I have, uh, by popular request of our beloved gay monster, Edward Scissorhands, <laughs> the halfling haberdasher. Cool. Haberdasher. <laughs> who wields his scissors as daggers, apparently. So he's an exciting little uh, munchkin. I have a weaver who is aptly named Sigourney. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's um, terrible. A dwarven chest maker who I called Ben Chpress. Uh. He also, can I just add, has a fantastic ben portrait. Ben Chpress. That's a fantastic and, what? Uh, portrait. His portrait picture is amazing. Yes, yes. I especially love the way that he smashed his hand. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a couple of fingers melded into one now. So. Yes. And my confidence artist is known as Ponzi. And I love his profile as well. Um, I will eventually probably put some of these portraits up, but they are all custom for the game. Uh, everything's custom for this game, pretty much. Uh, apart from the fact that we're using a purchase virtual tabletop and a dungeon crawl classics purchase game but anyway uh the final person that we have here <laughs> is ben ben's new kind of to the group uh, but not new to me uh, i'll leave that where it is uh so ben what have you got oh ben's a baker okay so if you if you're struggling with a loaf of bread uh, ben works in Woolies and he's a baker, I, so he's up really, really early. You in can the send me a sourdough sample because mine died. Yeah, Does I um, not, I left not, mine in the freezer not, the last time I had one and I gave up on it, but I can get you one. So 
<laughs> we'll talk we, about that later. With sourdough, all you do is you put water and stuff in a bucket and you leave it outside for two hours. Um, I mean, it depends if you want to eat the bread. Well, you do yes. eat the bread, but you, that's how you get a sourdough starter. That's no, not, not, quite, it not quite. Well, that's how, <laughs> yeah. I, that's how I got my sourdough starter. Well, you do That explains you a lot. Well, actually, we had some lovely bread out of that starter, but then I just got sick and tired of feeding it, so I killed it. Yeah, most people do. Most people would want the bread, but can't be bothered doing the everyday stuff. So well, yeah, it's the every... Fair enough. Like, I mean, if it was every no, couple yeah. of days and stuff. But anyway. Well, you can, uh, if you're... I'll eat your bread that you bake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we'll move away from bread. I'm happy to rate your buns, by the way, so just send me those <laughs> in any time. Um, right, so back to the game. So I've got um, Diddle Dee Deborah. Um, she's a potato farmer. Diddle Lovely Diddle young Diddle. lass. Um, if we're looking at useful items, she does have a mule and holy water. We'll leave. Holy cow, she's essential. No, no, no holy, holy mule. mule. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and Stoughton Comp, the dwarven miner, uh, one of many demi humans in my lineup. Also um, one of my favourite token pictures, but anyway. Has a great picture. Um, basically, uh, all that he's got going for him is that he does carry a lantern, even though he has infravision, so <laughs> we'll go, see what happens. Go figure. <laughs> uh, Yenevive, the halfling dyer, um, has some more fabric and a flint and steel, so we'll see how that turns out. And last but not least is Gruntilda, another halfling. This one a gypsy. So check your pockets and <laughs> don't, don't turn your back. She does carry a hex doll and a large sack. So relatable. I never realized that was a woman from the picture I saw in Discord. I thought that was a man. Uh, <laughs> I think it could go either way. Um, righto, and then we have two other players who are missing in action, of course, opening night and all that sort of stuff, even though both of them have been chatting about the game today in chat, but, you know, uh, life happens. Uh, we shouldn't shame people, but I'm going to hard. Um, so we have Matt, who's our other lawyer from Newcastle. Uh, he has... Shavera, Shavera. Uh, so chosen because the portrait obviously has a beret on. So you know he's terribly, terribly. Uh, what do you call it? Going with the French, French yeah. swing there. Well, Shavera, I think is where it's come from. The... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so that's an elven navigator. Uh, always looking at the stars, never at what's going on. So, where are some of his other characters? Are you going to put them up? Are they? I, don't, are uh, they... I can't. Like, they've got to go up in the top row when the player takes control of them. Oh. I will take control of them when we actually get into the playing portion of the game. Um, but I can't show them up in the line for you. They will go up there when, when Matt finally arrives. We have Fred, who is also one of Matt's characters. Fred is a mendicant, a beggar. Um, oh, are we sharing inventories, are we? Fred has some cheese dip, a club, <laughs> a club to tenderise that cheese dip, and a flint and steel to warm the cheese dip. Uh, I don't know what the other navigator had. Not going back to look. Why would you have to tenderise cheese dip? Because it's, it's a beggar, so they're not going to have the best cheese dip. So to make it soft and dippable, you have to beat it with a club. <laughs> it was his weak attempt to justify a club. <laughs> oh. And by uh, cheese dip, he means a pocket full of rocks. So. <laughs> uh, one of Matt's other characters is Kelly. Uh, Kelly is an outlaw, but he won't tell you that. He'll tell you he's just a charming fellow that likes um, likes a chat. And to see what's in your bag. Uh, he has a holy symbol because apparently he's religious about stealing your stuff. <laughs> uh, some leather and a short sword. Probably leather armour. Not 100% certain. Uh, armour class. Yep. Certainly looks like it's probably leather armour. So, 
That's Kelly, and that means we should have one more for Matt. Matthias the Tax Collector. I was tempted to stick him on the map sitting by himself, but I gave him two other friends <coughs> in the long run. Matthias the Tax Collector is by far and above the richest person here, so Matt's other character will like to get to know him. Uh, has a long sword, some water skin, and lots and lots of coins in a bag. So that brings us around to Tom, who's our friend from Adelaide. He works in information systems uh, in the geological space, I believe, uh, just based off what he comes up with on LinkedIn. Uh, Tom has Winnie Bailey, who is a Miller Baker, and I'm sure they have some sourdough in their inventory. Potentially. No, they have club, flour, and oil. So they've got a sourdough starter ready to be stuck in a bucket and sat outside for a couple of hours. Because that's how you make sourdough. I've uh, seen someone with a bucket now. Right. Well, yeah, true. I'm sure one of them's got it. Relic is another one of Tom's. By the way, Tom will get called lots of things. Blue, Tom, Richard. It's a long story. We'll get into it eventually. Uh, Relic is a squire, and in his inventory he has a longsword, a steel helmet, and a water skin. Steel helmet, I believe, is probably the person he's a squire for, but let's not think too closely at that. And then we've got Nimluthel. Nimluthel is an elven sage, with an incredibly elven name. Elven sages carry daggers, small sacks, and a parchment and quill pen. No ink, just parchment and a quill. They write in the blood of their enemies. It's, it's a weapon, yeah. Yeah. And the last one is Giles Mythy. Giles Mythy? Mythy. Mythy. He's a butcher. Uh, and as a butcher, he has a cleaver, a sack, and a side of beef in that sack. There you go. So that's where we have it. That's everybody. I will now share the map with you because I realise I haven't. Um, all of these maps may take a little while to open for you because I realise that they are a little bit big. Not my fault. By the way, That's all okay. of the maps tonight have been made in Dungeon Alchemist, uh, which is a program that is really, really cool at making maps. And I also realised after I started making maps like this that a lot of people that like Dungeon Crawl Classics probably expect line, black and white ink maps. Tough. I like colour. Has everybody got the map up? Yeah. I, yeah, kind of. It's loading after I had it up, but it's reloading now, so now we're good. I don't know. Libby, you got it? What? The map. Has the map shown up? Oh, wait. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. James, you got it? I have the map. There's only four characters. Uh, all of your characters are on there, but they might Oh, not. okay, it's just me. I can't see any, any of the other players. Just click on one of them and you'll see them all. Yeah. Sure. Oh, oh, yeah, there's everybody. Everybody, so hey. you're, in, you're in this particular room. Uh, I'm going to try something. Just to see if I can see. Gosh, how do you remember what's in yours? That should have synced you to my view. It definitely changed my zoom level, so. Okay, cool. Um, you can sort of like see the whole map, people on Twitch. So there's the whole map. Um, oh, excellent. I can't even find. I can't find my lamp. Oh, where I lost a player. Is there no way to tell the difference between yours and anybody else's icon? Uh, pretty much no. Oh, bummer. I, I can't find one of my characters. You you will find it because when it becomes your character's turn, um, oh. you will... There it is. Yeah. I found him. Right oh. uh, Tom's been Google Hangouting. Oh. I wish everything could be bigger. We can't make things bigger. Yes, you can. Scroll wheel. Oh, yeah. there we go. That's even better now. The old eyes. I can see it. 
And if you have a middle mouse button, you can slide the map. Yep, I can do it. I can go up and down with it. Yep, yep, yep. Beautiful. No, no. Thanks. If, if your mouse wheel has a click to it as well, you can hold it down and move the map around. Yep, yep. No, I can do that. Oh, hang on earth. Is that not clear in chat? Is that a Tom? Yep. Well, I do. Told you Kevin would be a big help. Awesome. For some reason, I can't clear chat anymore. I really, really would like to get rid of that chat, but that's something I need to... No, I don't no, want to No idea. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Uh, Tom, tell me when you're in and I'll share the map with you. <clears throat> Updated it the other day, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. <clears throat> oh, there's Tom. Hey, Tom. We'll just wait for Tom to come in. About. He's there. I hear him. Yeah, I yeah, know. Oh, we can he's hear him. He's, we've had a bit of a conversation already, Libby. I know. You mean um to come on to Fantasy Grounds? Yes. Gotcha. All right, so I can see four characters. Okay. They're so all yours. They're all yours. Yep. He's been... Uh, who's been trying to move people? Not me. Not me. No idea. Uh, Kevin. I, I warned you people would run around. Well, I, I locked the thing. People. I've not touched any tokens, if that's what you mean. Okay. No. Well, well just because they were all my characters, I, I deny everything. Yeah. And I've got a solicitor to support me. Uh, I doubt it. If you pay them enough, you will. <laughs> right, excellent. Somewhere in our Twitch chat, and Twitch viewers will know this, there is a dirty great big notification which I've tried to kill several times, but it's just not going anywhere. So I'm going to have to work out how to fix that later on. You're just going to have to deal with looking in the left-hand side of the screen with the bot that was trying to me trying to get me to buy followers because I really love that. I really do. Before you <laughs> used to go clear chat and it would <gasps> shock horror, clear chat. Uh, but yeah, apparently not tonight. Okay. So Tom's in. Yep. I'm about to share the map with you. Um, tell me when it comes up. Uh-oh. Apparently frozen. That could be my fault having too much stuff open. Yeah, it takes a little Probably while. Yeah. It's a fairly big image. And then I will... Hmm. Well, it's not just the map image, it's all the library stuff as well. And 20 million characters. Yeah, there are lots of characters, but they shouldn't really take up too much space. So, what we've covered so far is we've talked about our characters. Um, the bit of the story that we've covered are the Willing Travel Breeze always bring in a big crown at the Burning Boat Inn. The rowdy scene of all new Avram attracts all of the big acts from the capital of Regaline, and you were certain that you had to catch them. Travellers have been climbing to your mountain city for months, mentioning seeing them perform in inns on the path here, and, uh, and they are here, as they say, for one night only. Build out Brace Girdle and his family are run off their hairy little feet, trying to keep the ale out to the customers by the time the band takes to the floor. The tunes are raging, the ale is flowing, and the food is hot and thick. You are even pretty sure that it has some actual meat in it tonight, not just the meaty mountain mushrooms that they normally pass off as steak here. Hey, don't you pick on the mushrooms. I provided them. 
Oh, you can have your mushroom farmer here, of course. Hey, I can work out Roy Orbison and George Harrison. Who's the girl? Uh, Jefflin. Oh. And who's Dylan? Uh, that's the... Yeah, if, uh, hang on, Rob no, Dylan. The, Rob Pillen. If you ho hover over them, it'll Rob give you their names. Ah, uh, oh, Tom. There's Tom. Rob Pillen. Hmm. What? Don't sound so disgusted with me. It doesn't look like Dylan at all. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't like him anyway. <laughs> well, you'll love what his uh, what his attack is when you eventually see it. Uh, yes. Uh, right okay. Well, uh, so, is anybody doing anything special? And if you start moving things around, Kevin, I am going to make rocks fall. It's kind of well, like we've got a sign well, seating in this pub. Well, fine if it's going to be like that, because the first thing I was going to do was move. Okay. Well, you can move if you want, but you've got to have a good reason to group all of your characters together. Yeah, because they're all my characters, and they're all like each other. They're friends. No, you see, they probably don't know one another. What's a dwarven mushroom farmer got to do with a whatever wombat is, a blacksmith? A blacksmith? Well... He gets me to sharpen his skith. Uh, anyway. His sickle. Okay. So quickly moving on to the next section because, you know, things are, things are slow going on. Uh, that's not the next bit. This is the next bit. Okay. You're listening to the tune, sitting there, drinking your ale. Everything's going wonderfully for the evening. You see four strangers looking to join each other at a table, but they look wistfully as if somebody's stopping them. Somebody's standing in between them. They feel Compulsory that, sitting. They feel that they're very judgmental. Um, bloody what what cinema. classic hits are the Willing Travel Breeze playing? Well, you're about to hear that. Uh, at the crescendo of the good old Bend of the Vine, uh, the ground seems to tremble for a moment. It seems the entire inn is shaking with the beat until the sound of the shaking building overtakes the band and the sound of crashing earth and wood rips There's through the There's a whole lot building. of shaking going on. Yeah. Crashing. Crashing earth and wood rips through the building and you're all caught in a momentary sense of weightlessness. Okay. It's an alien abduction. Well, you never know. No. I want... Is that green Ooh. beams and cows? Uh... Nobody was near. Oh, yes, actually, one of them was near a was near a window. Oh well. Um, um, I, okay. Mark, can I quickly make a suggestion about the Twitch chat? Have you tried the slash clear command? Forward slash clear. Does that help you at all? Uh, let's try. Uh, that's not forward slash. That is. Uh, it says exactly what it does in my. In the thing when that you try I to use, yeah. it's, it says, ah, oh, Mark Knights has cleared chat for non-moderators viewing this room, and the chat is still there. So I will Back have to up. work out what it is. Uh, righto. So, yeah, basically, the <coughs> there's a loud sound. The floor seems to drop away from you. There's sort of like this sense of weightlessness about you. Uh, you hear glass shatter from windows that are nearby. You hear a scream as Jen Lina dies. Um, glass shattering and cutting through her uh, her jugular. Blood sprays across the room as the willing travel blues lose one of their members. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the trauma. Which, it's not all that surprising. Most of the members of the willing travel blues have gone already. But, uh, okay. So, did that go down like that? Go away. And she's dead? Ah, uh, well, so, certainly down on the ground, bleeding out. So, <laughs> might, as, might as well be dead. Okay. So, at the same time... Oh, God, now I understand what's going on. It's hard being me sometimes. Surely not. Absolutely. Okay, so what I want from everybody is... For I you to roll initiative for everyone.
Okay. I want reflex saves from all of your characters. Oh, so wow. you're going to have to slick on your character. Um, and then find them. And then press on the dice next to the reflex save. So it will, Actually, I left them all open, I think. It will register a roll for each of your characters and go from there. Twelve of you die, and that's the final. Great. <laughs> <laughs> every, every single person failed and died. Would be funny. I promise you nobody's going to die from this safe. Uh, I've heard some promises from you in the past. Hey, we're live on Twitch. I should have swapped over to my Struth Cobber, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll start Hi, at Deb. the top. So, diddle Deborah. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Oh, actually, I should roll for Matt's character, shouldn't I? Uh, they, they didn't move. Uh, they were non-reflective. Yeah, the the GM said we weren't allowed to move, so there can't be any reflex moves. Just remember, not to close the characters. That's uh, the first of Matt, second one. There. Third one. Here. And final one. Okay, so that's all of them done. Let's go back to the combat tracker and apply some effects. Go. Oh. And let's just make sure oh, I know what it... DC 12 is what I'm looking for. Okay, so Diddle Dee Debra is prone. Um, is what? Prone. Oh, okay. I'm going to apply that that way. Did that give Diddle Dee Debra prone? No, it didn't. Awesome. Means I'm going to have to find each of them. Okay, you are prone. Con the Fruiterer is prone. Con the Fruiterer. Up the top somewhere under C because you're in alphabetical order. I see how it works. Oh, and I've given it to Coy Borbison. Is that our good friend Matt? Where's Tittle? Uh, Wombat. Right down the bottom. It's prone. And Lysergic D is not, Digger is not, Stout and Camp is prone. I can't find others diddling diddle Debra. Debra. <laughs> Riffin is fine, Relic is fine, Nimluthu is really fine, Giles Mythy not so much. Almost stayed upright, but not quite. Uh, Athund is not. I mean, sorry, is prone. Mm-hmm. Winner. Okay, why is Winner not down the bottom? Up top. And I should have checked the number first anyway, but after all of fight trying to find them. Made the save. Uh, Briccio failed. Yenevive failed. Why is Yenevive not down the bottom? It's it's kind of alphabetical order. Yeah. It's the, it's the dwarven alphabet. <laughs> right. Um. 
Willow is fine. Gruntilda is on her bum. Tilda. Edward Scissorhands failed horribly. Also not in order. Sigourney failed. No brick is poor. Bench oh. press failed. Also not in free alphabetical order. I would really love to work out how this order works. Bench press, there we are. And Ponzi prone. Wow, practically everybody fell over. Yeah. Most of them. Well, we've been this drinking is... at this party. It's the extra special good mushrooms that I gave them. Yeah. Fred fell over. Kelly fell over. Kelly is not. Okay. Oh, I haven't saved for the NPCs either. Uh... <coughs> not coming back to this pub. <laughs> Rude. Uh, in pieces. I'm just, I'm just gonna say all the NPCs fall over. How about that? Oh no, did I can, you, do, I can do it easy. Did you do Matt's characters as well? Yep, I have done that. And if that doesn't trigger him to jump out of silent on Discord, what will? Is he? So it was him that came in, was it? He's sitting in the Discord server. <coughs> Lurker below. Okay, apparently all of the NPCs are killing it. Yep, not a one He's of sitting them. sitting in this floor. Not one of them's fallen over yet. It's almost like they expected it. Yeah. Oh, Poppy just fell over. God. It is... Uh, what about Mimosa? <coughs> Did Mimosa fall over? Nope. Uh, Jen Lina definitely fell over. Of course, she's dead. <laughs> um, I was like, Dregal. Does Dregal fall over? Yep, Dregal fell over hard. Regal, where are you? Nowhere important, clearly. Oh, my God, it leaves. Get your characters, Matt. Oh, I hey. Have. Are See? you here? Oh, no, I'll share the map with you. Uh, they can tell you what's going on while I'm adding prones to people. We're all dying. Cobber. Shaky pub. We're Hang on, wait a second. Isn't that exactly what the fun something. was supposed to do? We were all supposed to die? Yeah. Basically, so, so we're at you... the taverna watching the band, and then the taverna's shaking apart for some reason. Alien abduction. It's actually dropped about uh, five to six feet directly downward into the ground. Uh, it's a Humber Hulk dropped. All right, okay. Humber it's Hulk. a serious mosh pit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a reason that I can only see my characters? Click on one of your characters. Yes, because... Oh, uh, oh here we go. Thank you. <laughs> right, so everybody <laughs> that's in the combat tracker now that has prone is prone. Yeah. Um, the reason, Matt, is you can only see things your character can see. Correct. <laughs> because of the lighting and the effects and stuff like that. And the what you can see will change depending on what character you select. Oh, God, now. Can't get to the combat tracker because Ponzi, Relic, and Wombat are hanging over the button that allows me to click, <laughs> click on the combat just tracker. Noticed that. How do we drag it down? <gasps> get another screen. Yeah, if you've got two screens, you can drag the browser out over the top of the two screens. Yeah. I do, that's like in the office, can you? That's where. Yes, you can. Yeah, I'm extended over two screens. You got to do a drag, manual drag. That's how you do it, not a. 
I wish I had two screens. Oh, that's yeah. clever. Does yeah. make me feel a little sick, but that's clever. Gives you plenty of desk space. It does. Wow, that's fancy. It does because my screen, my, well, my screens are two different sizes, so it does make things a little awkward. But I'm happy with that. I can. You, uh, and you will conform. Yeah. Oh, but I'm on the laptop, and the laptop's only got one screen. Oh, no. You haven't got one of those dual screen laptops. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Let me see. Hang on, I gotta Game let me see what away. I can trick it to do. Take a laptop in the living room. That's fancy. I like that. If nothing else about tonight, I've learned a new thing that I like a lot. Because now, because I've been struggling with real estate and hiding mm. things behind things and Yeah. Oh that's that's oh Kevin, I could kiss you. Ooh. Ooh, hang on. Truth, mate. It's saucy. Um, <laughs> Couple of Digger, days. Us, us diggers don't do that sort of stuff, you know. <laughs> Righto. So, uh, okay. So the the inn has basically shifted four to six feet down. There's grinding of wood. Glass shatters. One of the uh, singers has fallen over rather ill spraying blood everywhere from the glass that shatters from the window and you can see there's only a tiny little gap of earth that's basically there's about a foot left above one of the windows and all of the doors are slammed shut because of the earth surrounding the building everything sort of comes to a still standstill is this uh tavern a single room tavern like is this the whole building no, there's there's more to this tavern per se. Right. In fact, which I could explore if I could move. Well, you're allowed to move now. Well, we're all, oh, yeah. I, I, well, you haven't oh, yeah. tried since I I pressed cancel on your others, but I have locked your tokens. But I have to find the bloody. Oh, there's a door. It doesn't come up with a door. It does when you put it there. Currently, I can tell you though that. Um, Mimosa, oh, is, did Mimosa fall over? She's one of the lovely halflings. She's the more, more older She's of the halfling women. She's not prone. She's trying this door here, which I'll open. For... You can apparently shrink the thing, the sidebar map, the laser arrow on it, and you click it in and then click it in again. <laughs> it goes into one, one line. <laughs> I've been trying to find a um a shortcut online for opening the combat tracker. But that'll do it should do you. Yeah. Dice so, modifiers, effects, options. So the party it, sheet, but Wombat is covering over. Uh, oh hello. See, no, I see it. Yep, yep, yep. No, I'm good. Down the bottom. Down the bottom is little arrow. Hit that twice and you should get a whole single line of all the icons. Uh, it's about 75% of the combat tracker one. See, look, I let you move. You move. Oh. The door. Oh. I try to open the door. Let us get out. Okay, you try and open the door. Give me a D100 roll. Uh, that's a little challenging. Right click your D10. I thought I was, but... Oh, no, actually, the D100. There's D100. Oh, there's actually a D100, yeah. yeah yes, click and grab it and just roll it. Okay, the door does swing inwards, so... Oh, huh, you already opened it. Um, But all you can see is a wall of earth with about a foot free at the top of it. Ooh. We're trapped! Don't run! Don't panic! <laughs> <laughs> so Someone try... Someone try the other door. Yenevive, get over there. Okay, as you are yelling and trying the door, you hear another torturous groan and the building ripples and bends uncomfortably. Uh, now, everybody make a will save. Lysergic yells, Umber Hogs! <laughs> Is this to see if we're, like, claustrophobic? Yeah, maybe. 
Uh, by the way, Wizards of the Coast, we did not mean to mention a proprietary animal in our stream. We are very apologetic of that. There are no umber hogs here. Yeah. There's only green hogs, Pay up, Mark. Hulk, and red Pay up. <laughs> from Disney. Yeah. Mine fires! Okay. That's 25%. That won't do it. Poor old Relic has got oh, minus one. Oh, is in trouble. Oh, okay. Okay, so mm. I'm going to let you, well, actually, no. Any of you that got uh -oh. less than 10, can you please drag an effect onto your character so the effects are in underneath the tools? Mm hmm And you will want to drag the stunned. Where do you take it? Where do you drag it to? And onto you your character name... Um, actually, let's see. Hang on, Lysergic D. Let me have a look at you. Effects, options. Did you say less than 10, Mark? Yes, less than 10. Okay. Uh, no, it's... No, it's a comet tracker. Then. Come on, no. We're, X. We're... So, it's yeah, I think you done. need to drag it into, onto your name in the combat tracker. On your name Jeez. in the combat tracker. Hang on. Oh, so as if we got less than 10 on that reflex save, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's fridge right. the on, the on a single bar. Oh, it's covering everything. By the way, I'm going to roll initiative for everybody just so we can get that combat tracker into a initiative sort of format. So. You say stun, stunned. Stunned, correct. Right. Where do we find the effect? Uh, in, the in under tool, you will see a... Modifiers? Effects. Buttons. Second Effect. line of icons at the top. It's like oh, a... yeah. oh, okay. I only right, saw but... four before. I can see you can scroll down. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a person with They're stars hanging them. around them. Oh, yeah. Got it. Well, I know Relic got a two, so I'm going to find him. Done. Okay. All right. Which of you silly characters didn't quite make that save? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, come on, Shavira. Are we still prone, which means I shouldn't have rushed the door? Uh, yeah, if you were prone, you couldn't have rushed the door. I crawled over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crawled carefully over. It was a rush over. of sorts. Well, let's say that you got up, so you can remove your prone effect. I'll be kind. Nobody yeah, else had the go. chance to, but, you know, Kevin, I like you. You're retired. I hope to one day well, I, be retired. I gave you expanded. I gave you expanded desktop, so... You, you did, so there's your <laughs> for it. What was the target number we were after? Ten. Ten, apparently. Ten. Oh, that's good. I made it. Wow. All of them? Oh, and Lysergic did too, so get rid of it. He was lying to me. Where the hell has everything gone? It's not in alphabetical order anymore. <laughs> wasn't before. Yeah, now it's confusing. Well, it wasn't so, before. So it was really annoying. It would be good if you could sort of double click on your token and it would highlight it in the combat tracker. You might be it's able to drag good. the effect onto your token. Ah. You might. Well, actually, now I want to get it off. Because I um, am hopeless and I press the button, I've managed to stun Ponzi three times and he's <laughs> super stunned. He's, yeah. Is there a way to get the character, the little characters at the top? Off of the. Not that I know of. Um, you can unlock the character toolbar and drag it across out of the way. Oh, I see. Oh, oh. Man, I'm that? so glad you joined us, mate. Thank <laughs> you. That's really good. Where am I? One, two. Oh, there oh, we that made life oh. just bearable. Thank Wombat. you. What did Wombat do? Wombat failed. Bloody Wombat. Egg not. Stone. Oh, there you go. You can drag it onto your icon on the map as well. Yeah. Mm. That's nice. Oh, crap. I gave him the wrong effect. No, that didn't work. What about Porge Parison? Yeah. Why is this so different from the other game we played? What do you mean, why is it so different? 
The mechanics are different. It was a different game? No. Touche. Yeah, pretty much what Kevin said, well, I think. What were we playing before? Um, Super Squadron. Super, Super Squadron, yeah. that's right, yes. Because it's a completely different game. You had played this before, Libby. Long time well, ago. But... Yeah, we did play this a long time ago, I remember, yep. slightly. It's very yeah. Dungeons and Dragon-ish. Old, this yeah. is a old school version. A non-OGL game. Correct. Ooh. Actually, I think it has the open game license in it. No, I had a look through the book and I couldn't see it. Hmm. Normally they stick it at the back, but I, and I couldn't see it there. I think it does. So, does that ladder in the bottom right hand go up to a second floor? Published under the open game license. Refer to the OGL in this work for additional yeah. information. Okay. Must be hiding it somewhere. What was that, sorry, Libby? The ladder kind of in the lower right area. Does it go up to a second floor or something? Uh, ah. No, it just seems to be something that's sitting on the, uh, on the wall. It's a decoration. It's got a nice pot plant hanging from it. So then, is that a trap door on the left side? Uh, tap door on the left side. Uh, kind of did that all the way down from the top. No, that's a, a crate. Okay. Uh, is there a is there a ping tool like you can activate a pointer on the map? Uh, you can right click, choose pointers, select an arrow, and go. There this. isn't there isn't a key stroke. You can just hold both mouse buttons and you can point a little arrow. Not sure if you oh, can yeah, see that's that. that's the measuring tool, I think. Yeah. I thought there was from the last time we played, but I'll look it up. Yep. Okay. Uh, so that's where we're at. Everybody's stunned or stuff. I can see a lot of people wanting to move, but uh, things happen quickly around here. Um, <laughs> as there are sounds of thuds from below the floor as something seems to hit it. You watch in amazement yeah. as some brown slimy bubbles pour up through the cracks in the straining floor until a slimy brown slug-like creature, about the size of a small dog, satisfyingly pops under the floor of the inn. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So, Is it like good or bad? Amber Hulk! <laughs> what? Stop saying... Copyright. Red Hulk. Uh, <laughs> it's actually a brown Hulk, by the look of it. Hang on, uh, Mark. We better make $750,000 out of this. Yeah. Uh, it's Iron Man Hulk. Okay. Oh, it's a slug. Jagger right. Hulk. Yeah, where's the slug? Unidentified Creature 1. Is that the one we're talking about? Hey, I'm a mushroom farmer. I demand to know what sort of slug it is. <laughs> No, oh, there's an unidentified mushroom creature. Are you a mushroom uh, infested with slugs, are they? It certainly doesn't look like a fun guy. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mold spores and fungi. <laughs> um, okay, that's a fair call, and I'll grant it to you, and even the miner can identify these things. They are cave slugs. Cave slugs. They're cave slugs, Stoughton yells. Run! Cavern slugs. Ew. Oh, excellent. And now... Quick, I take my <laughs> pants off. Oh, There's need... another slug. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just discovered that it was a Kickstarter backer by the name of Fourth Edition Was Right. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, okay, all right. Why are there 10 feet and 5 feet on there? Uh, I don't know. Has somebody been putting point pointers all over the place? It's only meant to be one pointer. Every time you put one down, it's meant to get rid of the old one. So uh, yeah. No, it doesn't. I know, that's yeah, what I'm man. saying. It's, it's meant to, though, according to the notes I've found. Uh, I can see well, two slugs anyway. Well, that's right. There are two slugs, and we're going to get into fuck? doing what whatever people want to do. In other words, we're going to move into Mushroom farming initiative order. Like mm. What do you do with Initiative them? order. Initiative order. Yeah. 
So are you going to auto initiative? Or are we... it's, it's already there. Ween Bailey. Ween oh, gotcha. Bailey? Call yeah. it Ween Bailey. Yes. That'd <laughs> be <brother. me. laughs> Excellent. So, Mr. Bailey, it's your turn. What would you like to Ms. do Bailey, at this at point? Ms. Bailey, this one. Uh, yeah, that token's a long way away, so I've got old yeah. eyes and can't see them. What would you, what would she like to do? Yes. Um, I'd like to know what she'd like to do. After seeing some slugs, go mm -hmm. and take cover, probably. Right, oh, well, then you will need to move. Now, you can, I believe, shift click or something like that to move around things <laughs> and all those bits and pieces. I'm uh, just going to find the appropriate pattern. So, and very near a slug, so we don't want to be very near a slug. So, you might head for over in this corner where the, that's the bar. Right, can I'm going to assume, yeah, see, whereas I would go. Uh, can I take control of it? Because you can't just walk through a bar, so you should walk them to one um. point and then to the next point sort of thing. So I'd try okay. that, I'd just cancel the move. So there. And you should be able to drag them from there onwards, maybe, to the next point. Yes. Maybe yep. space bar to do a waypoint. I think no, he's got it right at the moment. Is that where you're moving? <laughs> yeah, well, right. get to there. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you scoot along to there. Is that all Ween's doing, Wene? Ween. Yeah, so are there like any bottles or glasses on the bar or anything? Ah, uh, they certainly are. Plenty, strangely enough. Well, being like a bar. A... Chuck one over the slug's head, see if it like goes for it. <sighs> Okay, so you just hurl, in, like, hurl, hurl. in the opposite direction, like over its head, so it lands on the thing and see if it like attacks that way, so it's not going my way. Okay, no worries. You hurl a glass past it over into perhaps uh, this area. When near near Stoughton, potentially, I guess. Oh, <laughs> God, what am I doing? I am useless at this. So you throw it about there. Everybody yeah. should be able to see that. That's where the glass leads. Good job. Refreshing for me now. And then we mm. click the down button because everybody ah, remembers our friend the down button. Yeah, it's just frozen on me at the moment. So. Okay. Yeah, oh, mine's, click the down mine's, button then. Yeah. No, mine's frozen too. I'll what you've got. A loading screen. Uh, what? Yeah. I got a little twirly. Rainbow circle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm back. I can tell you now that's because I accidentally pressed share this record with people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was all me. Uh, right. Jen Lina is definitely not a well lady. Uh, she. I see a five foot thing. Is that where the glass landed? Yes. That's correct. Gotcha. Righto. Jen Lina is definitely dead. She's not dying. She's dead. Dead. Oh, that, that's just weak. Bloody carotid artery leak. <laughs> Do that every day. <laughs> now, Mimosa has no effects, so she can act. So she scowls at Winnie for breaking a glass. Mimosa's quite. Um, uh, so the place is falling apart. She's wearing a glass. Yeah, bloody oath. This is her livelihood. Okay. <laughs> Happens every other Wednesday, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know how to get mine to... Get your bar, that your uh, pub falls over. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, she's yeah. going around it's here. part of the check, attraction of the place. Check this door. Yeah, that and the giant slugs. You really want to get, really want to go to this place. Sigourney. What do you think they're well, putting the bottom of the ales at the end of every Thursday morning? Done. Tagorni's slug. prone and stunned. Right, so what you need to do is give me a will save. Until a will make, save for until Sigourney. Until you make a DC 10 will save, you are stunned. You mm. overcome your okay. immense fear. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> That'll so do it. Now we'll press the down <laughs> button. <laughs> 
Giles, Miffy, Mivy. Okay, more. You are currently I mean, prone. Oh. So I need to stand up yep, so I can find him. Takes basically half your move. Yep. Uh, I reckon he's just at the middle table. North of the guy with the big beard. Really close yeah, to I the second him. slug. But I somehow can't. Oh, there we go. What can we? What can we do? So on that table, is there anything that we could throw? Throw at a large slug. Uh, most of oh. the stuff that was on top of the table is sort of like strewn about the floor at the moment. But there's a bowl there. Salt. I was about to say. <laughs> well, chuck the bowl at it and see if I can tip the table over so it's like interspersed, like interposed between us and the rug. Righto. So, what do you want to do? Do you want to throw the bowl or do you want to tip the table over? I tip the table over first. We'll okay. Grab yeah. a bowl for next round. You grab a bowl and push the table over so only Matthias, the tax collector, is in the way of the slug. Dang, Robert. And then you press the down button. No, I can this time. Con the fruiterer. Right, okay. As long as we can get to the bottom. This is a, this is me training players. Cancel Con's move, please. Don't uh, usually have Con the fruiterer is where? Uh, if I could draw an arrow, I would. No, it would just <laughs> tell me roughly where he is on the thing. Bottom middle. Just below the second slug. Bottom middle. Ah, yes. Done. Okay. Combat, I'm trying to get the combat tracker back. I'll so... press down for you. Okay. Nimlethel. Hey, why didn't Con the Fruiter get a move? Um, because you told me to cancel it, and Con the no, Fruiter, said... Con the Fruiter yeah, yeah. isn't not until ages away. Oh, I thought you said it was his go. Sorry. No, it's Nimlethel. Yeah. Yeah. I referred what, to Con the Fruiter. Oh, it was his fault. Yep. Which, with all these names with more than two syllables, it's very un-Australian. <laughs> 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 who who yeah, is Nimlethil? Right. He me. Claim, claim to be Australian without knowing Con the Fruit or is beyond me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Nimi, yeah. it's your go. Yes. Um, She's I know, like a third of the way down on the left-hand side. Yep. I found I'm surprised it, so... it doesn't highlight them in some way. So, if you just, like, uh, move the table over... Oh, like, uh, is there anything to throw? Uh, there's Where apples. Currently. There's some grab, apples. Grab, a, grab an apple, move over behind the table. That's there and throw it. Oh, throw she's actually, she's going to make a will save because she's stunned. Oh, okay. Well, if we save, then we will finish yep. something along those lines. She yeah. does not save, so I'll cancel that. I'll go the down button, Poppy. My map moves around so it actually centers on the on the token as best mm -hmm. it can. Okay, you see Poppy, who's and the one that's... standing behind the bar near Winay, um, picks up a, a a knife that's used for cutting cheese. Why can't um, she do that? She's prone and stone. Oh, because she's talented. And then she gets back in a box and then goes and makes Will save. She was daydreaming she, about her abilities. She does make her will save. <laughs> so she actually manages to get to her feet, but that's about it for the uh, for the turn. Thanks, Libby. Perhaps you should be the judge. Oh, uh, oh sound effects. It's me. Lysergic D. Is it moving the map for you guys? So it sort of like... Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Um, now I can't get the combat tracker back, so that's annoying. Wombat. Digger, what have I got? Don't worry, I'll just keep, oh, you, the... keep you informed, Tom. Cancel my move, please. Uh... Well, if one of the slugs gets one of the characters, then... Right. then it is there be any any salt on the table? No. God, no. Jesus Christ, what do you think this is? Fancy 1990s restaurant with flavourings? The chef salts everything perfectly. You don't need salt on the table. Salt is a requirement of ancient civilizations. Your food would go off in no time. Yeah, they don't care. Himalayan pink salt. Yeah. This is not the Himalayas. They don't know what you're talking about when you say that. 
Not like lake salt from Utah no. or something? No. Yeah, no, no yeah. salt. And if there was well, any salt, it's all spilt all over the ground now anyway. Mm. Oh. You should toss it over your shoulder then, Kevin. Did, it might did. be a sack in the cellar somewhere. Toss it over my shoulder, yeah. Well, there is no salt to toss. There's just no luck in this place at all. Oh, well, my surgic's strung up high as a kite, so he'll just jump up on the table because that sounds like a nice thing to do when the slugs are running around. Okay. Very cool. And, and then I will hit the down arrow. Ah, oh, good job, Kevin. Look at that. I'm, I'm the yeah. number one player. You've taught me Fuck how up. to spread what? things across my, my screen and you're pressing the down arrow. Gold star, Kevin. Unbelievable. Right Unbelievable. Uh, Artun, Arthun, who is Arthun, prone and like... stunned. So you need to give me a will save. So you tried to move then. And you can't because you are prone and stunned. Going to hit the down button for me, Libby? Yep. Thank my you. mat moved. When the, my mat did move. Yeah, it does. Cool. I'm pressed. Oh, the down button. Thank well, you. I'm complete. Will I? Oh. Okay. He's all, he's all right. Let's see. Where is he? Now, he has a short bow, but he has absolutely, it doesn't say he has any. Any arrows? Yep, that's the way a dungeon crawl classics funnel works. <laughs> yeah. How kind of stupid is that? <laughs> well, you okay. gotta you gotta hope somebody that's carrying arrows dies so you can steal them. <laughs> well, now, what does bench bench press have? Bench press? He doesn't look like he has any arrows. I don't think. No, but what does what was it? He it was on his person. Uh -huh. He has there? a chisel. He has some wood. We could make some arrows. <laughs> and a holy symbol. And a holy symbol. But it's, it's kind of one of those parties, I think, Libby, where, you know, you've got to find your, the person with the matching card. <laughs> That's how you meet. You've got to find someone with arrows. And then hope they trip over and die. Or you could take it in your own hands and just. Who has the arrows? Of their arrows. I didn't I'm, listen. I'm actually not sure anybody has arrows here. Acrylic. Well, he's stunned and prone. Just for the record, Fred does not have arrows. You don't need to kill him. Just try and find them. <laughs> and so, since he's stunned, he's itch presses stunned and prone. Mm hmm. Correct. So you can go through his stuff if you, if that's what you want to do with your turn. Uh, no, I think I want to move him out of danger. Oh, what the hell? Player, oh, is that right? Player being nice to another player? That's not Dungeon Crawly. <laughs> oh, sorry then. Let's see what else can I do. No, you can <laughs> do that. <laughs> you can do that, Libby. Absolutely. Well, that's what I'll do. Is, okay, so um, where, where are you going to drag him back somewhere where you are? Like, are you going to, I'm going to move you. Are you going to step to there and drag him back to about there? Yeah? Well, no, I was planning on taking him. Well, you... I was just going to move him. I'm looking at the screen. I was going to move him all to the right. So you're just going to drag him over here -ish? Back towards that door. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not blocked. Uh, oh, I have to be behind him? Well, if you're dragging him, yeah. Otherwise, you'd be pushing him. And uh, that wouldn't be pretty. Okay. So then, I, I like your idea better. Moving me, move us back. You get to there. All good. Okay, down. Down, oh. I don't want to move over there by the wall. I can't believe nobody started singing about taking a step to the right. <laughs> Just a jump to the left. Oh, oh it's diddledy no. Debra. Diddledy Debra. Diddledy Debra. All He's right. Currently prone, so you're going to lose half your movement just by getting yep. up. I'm going to do that. I'll get her up. Um, can I remove the prone? Oh, you've got it. Okay, cool. Brilliant. Um, so she's up, and she's going to jump up onto the table, ready to 
whip out a spear and dive towards this slug probably on her next turn, I would suggest. So wow. Okay. I'm going to uh, throw her up onto the table there if you'll allow it. And I, I she's do allow gonna it. Rip out her pitchforky spear ready to ready to lunge forth nice. at her next available opportunity. Thank you, Dave. Oh, and the damn button. Look at that. I've trained him well. Bench press. Done. Bench press needs to make a will save. Correct. Oh, it's not his strongest uh, forte, let me tell you. Ooh, that was no. cocked. <laughs> Don't get cocked on some virtual tabletops. <laughs> 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 nice try, though. Uh, oh, I don't know. Get another turn with Edward, Edward Scissorhands. Let's see if he and can he roll also a has to make. No. Hey, oh, he might even be successful. All right, nice work. And he can pretty much so he, stand, and that's about it. He ain't afraid to no stand slugs. up. Right, good work, Edward Scissorhands. You shook your head, you woke up, and you stood up. All right, Matthias is going to try and make a will save, except the dice is running away from him on the table, so we'll try that again. Double stunned, Matthias. Hey! Matthias That'll is up. That'll break a double stun. Absolutely. Right, so you All can right. move about half your move. Is that anyway. anything like a double martini? Um, yes. Eventually results in a All stun. All right, Matthias is going, to, he's going to wander around behind the table because now there's a slug. And if you have four martinis, it's definitely double stunned. Absolutely. <laughs> so that's what he's going to do. And then we're going to click the down button. Woohoo! Brittio! Right. Yes, I have to do the wheel save. Yes. Nice. And I'm prone, so... So you can basically get unstunned and stand up, and that's your turn. Very nice. Con! Prone and stunned. Why don't I have a speed value? Uh... Prone and stunned? Prone and stunned. You do. Speed 30. Not in, uh... In inventory. Yeah, you, no, no. Yeah, that's not where it's set. On the main tab of your uh, yep. character sheet. Main tab well, that, sheet. I'm not looking there. That's no good. No, I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> and what am I making? A fortitude save or something? They need to make a will save because you are stunned. Will save. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm working on. Don't oppress me. I just oppressed <laughs> you and made you remain stunned. Fred. On. Prone. So you can stand up. Let's have Fred stand up and have I could find him on the map. Where's which one's Fred? Uh, Two up there. Yes. Just bench next press. to bench. There we go. Hey. He will be in the centre of the map if the map adjusts to your activity. Yes. My map, map does. Fred is a mendicant. So if you shrunk your map down to be one square in size, it would always centre on your character. Yeah. yeah. And you'd have no idea what's going on. Oh, that's irrelevant. <laughs> Don't oppress me. Doesn't All right. change the validity of his point. Fred is running around for cover. He is hiding behind a table. Oh, good good okay. job, Fred. Let those other suckers deal with these magical slugs that have come out of the floor. That's not his problem. Fieldout stands up. And... The cow is a bit in the corner. Because he's a halfling and they're good at cowering. Did I just I'll racially you, profile him? I'll have yeah. you redact that, retract that statement, please. Then. <laughs> well, if, if he's a cowerer, then he's going to have to pay a new tax in New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> right, I really. Yeah. Relic. Well, he's uh, fo he's foolish because he wanted to go and hang out at night, so he'll like uh, attempt to be unstunned. I think is his first. Really, not business. stunned, wasn't he? No, but he was. Or no, prone. No stunned or prone effect on relic. Yeah. No, 
He's uh, at the table there on his own, ready to rock and roll. Oh, All right. Get rid of oh, that. You like can that. move him. Pull out his sword and go and try and chop a slug in her. Oh, nice. Somebody brave in the room. Brave, 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 brave slogan. Now cool you can, I think the word is. Control click on the on the slug and that will target it. Mm. Target caverns. Did that work? Two, number four. Yes, it did. And then you just need to make your attack. Mm. Which will be in your actions tab. We do have a long sword action. You swing down at the slug and narrowly miss it. Mm. One okay. bugger. Well, lots of noise going on outside. Uh, right, <laughs> and then I click the down button. Gruntilda, mm, prone and stunned. Gruntilda. Okay, we better have a will save then. Ah, oh, sorry. A will save, yes. I can... Uh... That'll do it. And then she stands up. That's about it, I guess. Not that he would notice that much with a halfling. Right, Ponzi. True story. Just prone. Well, Ponzi can stand up, please. Done. And then he, he's going to say to those around him that he has a scheme for getting out of here. <laughs> oh. uh, would he that wants be a... everyone to follow him over to this door over here. Uh, well, remember, he's only got half movement, so unless right. he can move 40. Right, well, move him. Good job. Well, move him back a little. And... He leads the then he wants then he wants six people to build a pyramid over here. <laughs> oh, man, that's terrible. He, so he, that he uh, can climb out. Is he uh, opting for himself to be at the top of that pyramid? I assume? <laughs> well, it's his scheme after all. <laughs> anyway, I'll that's, press that's the down button things. so I don't have to keep talking about that. how these things work. Okay, poor old Thomas Senior Pity uh, does not manage to make his will save. Digger. Come on, Digger. Right. Uh, A more Australian name I couldn't pick. Get into him, Digger. What have I got? Which of you grabs? Really? I mean... We are aware of a dirt-covered doorway Herbalist. with some daylight at the top. He could do what he does best. Dig. <laughs> uh, herbs. I've got herbs. I'm sure I have herbs that remotely resemble salt, which no. slugs don't like. No, and Digger wouldn't know whether slugs like salt or not. He's not a mushroom farmer. And you've got no salt anyway. Just quite. I'm feeling oppressed. You're just oppressing me. I'm judging you. Rosemary and thyme. Well, I feel so limited in my actions that it's almost nothing I can do. Let's run over here and attack things. You can run over and tackle one. Okay. Control click on the token to target. And attack. Bigger. Too many clicking, too many menus to choose from to get to what it is you're after, like between the main and actions and inventory and... That's a miss. Boy, these slugs are nimble. They're yeah. slippery little suckers. <laughs> yeah. If only we had some salt, like the basic ingredient of all foodstuffs in the modern ancient world. Who's got the Morteen? Just trying to find their armour class, to tell you the truth. Dag not. Kelly, the outlaw, is still... Okay. Well, it wasn't him. ...stunned. Relic's wrong. Still stunned. It's higher than that. Oh, Kelly. Well, Riffin, let's see. The Dark Worker. When we get out of here, remind me to get a corner of the salt market. <laughs> he is no longer stunned, is he? 
correct, and now he can move correct, up to yeah. half his movement. How can I uh, draw so I can see how far that is? Just uh, by moving both... the... No, no, hold both mouse buttons down and drag it from where you are to where you want to go. Thanks, Kevin. Oh. Oops. Can I move and hit him? Or can I just move? You can just move. That's it. You've only you you've come out of a stun. You're sort of like wandering around a little bit dazed, but you're beginning to get your head back at the moment. Um. Uh, I just hold my action. Okay. Worries. Uh, Koi Borbison. <laughs> uh, gets himself up. And we don't need that. And he will not do that. Lysergic, who's spinning around on top of the table, calls out to Tom and says, Look, Tom, I'm free-falling! <laughs> That's Thomasina to you. She's a lovely lass. <laughs> Dregal! Oh, that's me. Crap. That is you. Uh, he runs around his mum because he's... Oh, he steps up and walks around his mum after getting unproned. That's a... That's an action word. Unproned. Deproned, I think. Deproned? Yeah, yeah. Sorry to. Okay. Sorry to um, burst your bubble there. Oh, poor no, no, old. No, be correcting judges. That's 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 silly. Poor old Rob Pillen is still uh, stunned. Uh, Porge Barrison, on the other hand, is de stunned. Is de stunned. George Barrison is pretty impressed with himself and uh, makes his way over to his friend Jeff uh, Jen Lin and starts going through her pockets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Naveev. All right, yeah. All right, can you just cancel it? I tried to move before we fell into combat, I think, so you okay. can just cancel that. Uh... She's actually prone to stun. So, where is she? Do we get any? Do we get a positional advantage? Uh, like two to one, and the table to the left of the. Is that it? Thank you. Beautiful. Beyond. All right, I will attempt a will save, which is successful, and she will stand up. Beautiful. And that's just about gonna do it. It must be Shavera's turn. It is Shavera's turn. Double stunned. <sighs> Nasty. Double stunned. Gosh, deadly done. Quickly, run off to Bolivia. It's obviously found something to be rather stunning. Mm. Well, I think she stunned herself. Certainly not the humour in this game. Not hey! <laughs> Righto, unstunned. So now you may move up to half your movement. Very good. Um... Uh, in keeping, oh no, that's uh, that's um, Bildad's job. He's the innkeeper. <laughs> he doesn't have any salt. All right. I didn't have going any... for cover, but moving towards. There we go, and let's press that down button. Wombat, that. prone and stunned. No longer stunned, and probably stands up as well. He does. Good job, uh... Wombat. Good job. So, as I was asking, is there anything for positional no. benefit or outnumbering benefit? No. You're oppressing me again. <laughs> well, the system's doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> the Dungeon Crawl Classics way. It's the There's oppression no... inherent in the system, I think. <laughs> Planking does not exist. Uh, nor does a tax of opportunities. Yeah, like, or advantage. Yeah, or advantage, yeah. Please. Uh, what do you do? Sorry? Press it moving. Down. What Move do they apply moving. to the OGL in the first place then? I mean, really? 
All right, Stoughton, uh, again, prone and stunned, so he needs to uh, attempt that wheel save. Let's get that going. Yes, that'll do. And Aha, we up. have the combat tracker back finally. Finally got the edge. Good job. Nice. Um, yep, and Stoughton will stand. And I was clicking right on the far edge where it's Mr. Kevin Slug One. No, His I... name is Kevin Bacon. Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Kevin. Oh, Kevin. <laughs> uh, what are the movements? Bacon. Uh, I didn't know. I wouldn't really eat one. That was hilarious. I really wish there was a way that I could. Why is Pants that... are off. Why is that got a? It's not Friday. Uh, I don't know why that's given a line, but anyway. Depends on where in the world you are. It probably is Friday in New Zealand already. Potentially. Mm. I'm very forward thinking over there. Fourteen minutes. Righto, let's see how this works. Righto, so it moves to the... there. So it doesn't chase the glass. And. That's a shame. You, you see that there's a glistening trail behind it. Mm. Brilliant. Lovely. And then Kevin Slug number two. That's Kevin Costner. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's... Okay. So it's trying to go. It's going to go around Relic. Eat him first as punishment for our long dances with wall swabs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Waterworld. Let's not even talk about Waterworld. Oh, yeah. Well, so, that wasn't that wasn't as mind-numbingly dull. Ah, oh, okay. I need. I honestly didn't mind it terribly. Waterworld. Hmm. I've never actually watched it. It's long. It's okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't rush out to do so. No. no. But if you find yourself with nothing better to do one day. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and because all, all the streaming services on Earth have collapsed and the <laughs> IV's <laughs> gone down. You drag out that old VCR. Okay. It moves to there and then it attacks at Relic. It uh, lashes out. Uh, foolhardy was the right word, I think. It's going to be an X Relic. So, Kevin Stark 2 targets. Because if it gets in, he's toast. Control click. Targeting. Control. Click. Ah, oh, helps if I actually hit control. Uh, right. He, he has not got much of an armor class. Cameron Spacey. Okay. <laughs> uh, gets a a hit. hit. Well, now, now there won't be 16 characters on the combat tracker, so uh, like covering the combat tracker, so you can get rid of him. We have well, our first death. We do have our first death. Poor old Relic has been slimed. Oh dear. And it says yeah. two wounds, so you die at zero? Yeah. yeah. Uh, especially in this version of the game. When you're in yeah. a funnel, you definitely die there. I wouldn't kill off the character just yet we need it sort of like laying there so people know hey he's a dead guy we can loot him mm. um <clears throat> not, that, oh, no, oh, not that i'd suggest geez. you do that in any way shape or form well i'd suggest it because he's got a sword oh Wait. mine <laughs> <laughs> Get him. oh my god Brain Relic's dying words extreme. i've got a sword. <laughs> yeah. I've got a sword and a helmet and a water skin Take right a strong sword, sword. Ween. When um, I... Yeah. We're back. We're back ah, to right. the top so, of uh, I tried a glass last time. Is there any bottles of grog, like uh, our hand near this bar? Yep, absolutely. All right, so I'll see if I smash one and chuck a, like, half empty at the slug. Okay, you're going to have to move to where you can see the slug. It's pretty small and it's behind a bar there. Yeah, all right, so I'll move. If I move behind this table over here, that should be it, because they're just tables like that. Right? So behind that table, and then I'll try throwing a sure. smashed bottle of booze. 
Right, I say target yep, slug. Target the slug. You want me to roll? Uh, sure. I'm not sure whether you get a ranged attack though. Hang on, actions. Is there an improvised weapon, ranged weapon or something? Uh, not quite. So I'm about to give him one. See if she can. Uh... Go ten, roll. Yeah, she actually would be a pretty good shot. Uh, okay, that's, yeah, do that. Uh-oh. Add a... Only trained with the weapons he comes with. Okay, let's change that to a range. Oh. Just use your club for the time being. So you can click next to it where it had melee and it turns into a ranged attack, so you can see that. Or you could click it, it becomes a thrown. Actually, you're after a throw and attack, so. Yeah, so what do, what do I do? Click on it and say second option. Well, you, now you just roll the dice because it's set to throw and. Oh, got gotcha. you. Okay. Oh, but it misses. probably not. So then you put it Unlucky. back to your club. Right, eh? And then you press the down button because now you got the thing. Yeah, I do. Oh, poor Jen. But she's been looted now, so she can bugger off. Uh, oh, yeah. Who looted Jen? Which George, uh, George Parrison nine, or four, Porge four, Jarrison? Eight. Oh, that's terrible. That guy. Mimosa is over by the door. She's tried to open it and found it completely locked. She's beginning to hyperventilate and screaming, and she's scratching at the door now. It's a she, oh, she has the key. She's got the secret. Aye. Sigourney! Sigourney! Yeah! And gets up. And gets up. Nice. Well done. Did she say get away from her, you bitch? Oh, <laughs> Goza. Yeah. Giles! Giles! Giles picked up a bowl oh, before. crud! Uh, and this happens too. Uh, let's do pop, pop, pop. Oh no! Hang on, what? Oh, that's well, three more slugs. Your winks. That's unhelpful. When did that's they appear weird. in the combat tracker? Just then. There we go. Far too many Kevins for my liking. Okay, so back to mode, back to Miles. Sorry. Uh, uh, well, Giles picked up a bowl Giles. before, so he might as well throw that at throw that at the. Pearl Sigourney. Did Sigourney have any idea that that was just about to happen? For now. No, it just no, happened it after Sigourney the ground, the What? What's that? Sorry, Tom. Oh, I like um, I'll throw the bowl I got at there. Okay, cool. Have so slug. target <clears> one <throat> of them. There we go. Go into your character actions. Uh, you got cleaver as axe already as a throw on thing, so use that roll. Okay. It's the second one. Ooh, no. The bowl flies yeah. well wide. It's a, it's a shoddy lean. I know. Nimlethil needs to make a save. Yeah, so we'll save. I'm just going to find the appropriate character sheet. I should close the other one, shouldn't I? Shortly. We'll you should save. just drag your screen over two screens. Yeah. Yeah. No. no. Nimlethil is still stuck. Clicking the down arrow. Slow to do on this thing. Righto. Poppy Brace Girdle now grabs that knife. And she runs around the corner to stab this slug. And cannon slug number one. Where are you? Uh, number one. Cavern slug powers. 
Okay, but as she strikes its slime, she suddenly comes to an immediate halt. Uh, as her foot gets stuck in it, she can no longer move forward. Oh gosh. Um. She lets out a scream. Uh, she makes a strength test. Just found herself in a bit of a sticky situation. Oh, wow, that was terrible. Uh, and she's stuck and lashes out with the dagger but misses completely. Lysergic D. Throw a fireball at it? Sure. Sure. Not very good. Well, he keeps tripping out on top of the table. <laughs> Fair enough. Athund. Maybe. Nope. Doing something. Oh, saving for willpower, so it doesn't. Gotcha. I forgot I was muted. Oh, good. Clicking the down arrow. Yep. All right, Mr. Will I? Will I? And? And? Hmm. Could have made a character called Won't I? <coughs> Can't go directly to him because of it bent to press. Okay. He's the one uh, over by the, the door. Where's, yeah, I know you, where he is. Can you move is to another a character? Map him. Um, they serve food in here, right? Yep. But we don't see any salt on the tables. No, there are no. There is no salt on the tables. There may be where salt. There may be salt in their kitchen, but there is no salt in the tables. Where is the kitchen entrance? The kitchen entrance is over on the other side. Um, it's the door that's about a third of the way down on the other side of the room. I'll open it and shut it. Is that left or right side? Left side. So it's, I will, it's mine. Math I will draw collector. an arrow or a circle around it. Okay. Oh, that one. Um, well, that's a little far <laughs> for me. Um, let's see. How do I tell? How do I move down and then up and then over? You should be able to just drag it to one spot and then you pick it up and drag it again and it should sort of like lay out a path. Is that okay, how? So I want to go over to that slug, uh, number three, grab that chair and hit it, hit it. Okay. Done. Okay. But I don't know how to hit it, because all I have is a short bow on my weapon's actions. And we will just go and say that you're hitting it in a melee hit, so just use the short bow roll. Click on the dice. Double click on the dice. Oh, it's a fair whack. It is a fair whack. It's a short bow. <laughs> um, it's better to hit it with a chair than a short bow anyway. And the chair does crack across the slug, but you just see a bulge and then pop back into normal shape. It oh, seems God. to form around it. Yeah. And I can't do anything else, right? Salt plan might be a good one. Uh, just bear with me for two ticks. Right. Now you can click the down button. Okay, and I can't do anything else. No. 
you ran over, you picked up a chair and you hit the slug. It definitely hit it, but it didn't seem to damage in any way, shape, or form. They're highly malleable creatures. <laughs> All right, diddledy Debra. So diddledy Debra was uh, atop the table with a spear brandished, mm-hmm. and seeing seeing this nearer potential slug, she's gonna whirl about and lunge down upon it with her spear. Go, no diddler, diddly do go. Um, did I target by doing that? Yeah. I did. Brilliant. All right, let's attempt a spear attack with the pitchfork. Mm-hmm. With misses. She's it got a does. neg one because she's completely useless, but hey. She's a potato farmer. Unlucky. She's good at growing potatoes. Don't call her useless. Absolutely. And she's courageous. So, Righto. there you go. All right. Bench press. Till stunned. No, not, not at all. Not at all. Not even prone anymore. Look at that. Go, Ben. Unstunned. Get him up. I'm prone. Edward Scissorhands. All right. <coughs> All right, well, Edward going to have to do something here. And he's I suppose we've tried to crush one of these things. He's seen, but has one been given a snappy haircut yet? God. You're going to get the scissors out? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Move over to here with That's the a mullet. And then target that guy and hit him with the said scissors. <laughs> Yeah. No. And he get the map uh, back. Unlucky. Uh, you can. If I click sharing, it refreshes for everybody. Go to images. Go to group. Find Taverna maps. Where's the images? Oh, there it is. Found it. And then choose Taverna. <clears throat> Okay. Matthias, which would be Matt from memory. Yes. He's moving wants, down there. He wants, he wants a slice of the action. Does. And so, tax the slug with his longsword. Right. Longsword? Yeah. Kill him. Shh, shh. I didn't say that out loud. Okay. <laughs> He's got a longsword and lots of money. Just quietly. He jingles all the way down to the slope. (laughs) It's like Santa Claus, but pointier. Oh, Oh. might have hit. Nah, you miss. What? 15's not a hit. (laughs) This this is not looking good at all. No, I will alter it because they shouldn't be that high. Um, They're slugs. Uh, Unless that's like a measure of how hard they are to hurt, as opposed to how uh, hard they are to hit. Crap. Uh, I'm you... going. I don't know which one you were uh, targeting, though. Cave slug number one. Four. Cave slug oh, one, it? number four. Yeah. Okay, so that's this one. I am changing his armor class to. Something actually reasonable. Uh, oh, shall I roll damage then? Yes, you may roll damage. <laughs> yeah, just Yay. Bear with me while I change the other slugs armor class to what it should be. Do, do, do. 
two more to go. Uh, Ding! Damn, but does it really have any effect? I guess is another question. Rick is going to head over. I can't tell how far I've gone. Can I go all the way into the kitchen or just go to the door? Uh, how far can you reach? Like, I mean, where were you? 30. Yeah, well, where is your character? Right there at the top. Okay. Um, well, then you just, like, click and drag your character towards the door and it'll come up yeah. with. Okay, I, yeah. Okay, so that should tell you 30. It gets yeah. you to the door. Okay, so I'm going to the door, get to the kitchen. Okay. Right, so you. Yep. Okay. Uh, right, it... con the fruiter. Unfortunately, I only have one screen, so it's very cluttered. I have to. Yep. I am unstunned. And I stand up. Con the fruit drawer. Oh, you can remove your own. I can remove the stun. I can't get rid of the prone, though. Because probably because, oh, because you had it. Yeah, you put it on and I took it off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right uh, where's Con? There he is. Right, oh, he's right next to one, so can he still hit it? Uh, he was stunned and prone. No, all he can do is shake his head and get up. Fred. Fred is going to let's see, what can you see out the window there? Uh Fred, where is he? Over there. He can see yep. about a foot worth of space at the top of that window. Alright, so we can't climb up and out that window? Uh he can uh, Attempt to with a agility test. What is it? Yep, it's agility. Abilities and under skills, under main. Where is it? Oh, it's just ability. So you just, just go to an ability up. test. So on the main screen, left hand side, you'll find AGI and a little D20 next to it. Oh, yes, there we go. Double click that D20. Hmm. He scrambles at, could... scramble at the dirt and dirt starts falling down into Fred's face. Right. Okay. A good start, Fred. All right. Where's my down arrow button? There we go. Jackie build that brace girdle. That's me again. He's going to. Oh no, that's like got a bit close to him. He will, in fact. Have you locked down the uh, function buttons? No. You can't access them. That's a problem that I'll deal with later. Yeah. <laughs> Not uh, worth setting them up for any of these guys yet, I wouldn't think. No, not really. Right, so he targets the slug and he. Wait, where's his. Ah. He attacks with his cup of beer and misses, splashes beer all over the place. Very disgraceful. Um, <laughs> Very un-Australian. Really key. What a Probably waste scared. of beer. <clears throat> He's an ex-relic. Oh, yes, that's right. Relic is a poor, very, very unwell fella. Yeah. Right. Or if he's not dead, he's pretty close to... He's dead. Oh, Gruntilda. Um, it's very near to a base slug. Um, but doesn't really have what have we got here. Mm. A sling with nothing to sling is not going to help too much. 
Uh, perhaps there's a fork. Is there a fork or a knife or something on the table there or on the floor that's fallen off the table? Where is Gruntilda? Or an empty uh, salt shaker? Just below Cave Slug. Oh, there are 17 place. empty salt shakers right near her. <laughs> right. Can they be fashioned as a sling stone? Absolutely. Brilliant. I'm going to uh, utilize that and attempt to uh, sling said salt shaker. Salt shaker? Empty, of course. Empty, man. Ah. Oh. Because these pretzels have been making people thirsty all night. Apparently. <laughs> these pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Gruntilda didn't target anyone, did Gruntilda? Oh, I did, but it's well, missed anyway. Work. Missed anyway. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Moving on. Uh, see, she. Yeah, she's okay there. Thinking she might move, but she's okay. Um, uh, technically, she should back off a bit just because uh -huh. of the ranged attack, but all good. Uh, yeah. Ponzi, how's the scheme well, going? He's... Well, no one else seems to have come along with his... <laughs> Nobody else has signed on. <clears throat> Brichio's over there. Give me a discount. And yeah, he'll move, mirror and move over towards this door here. Can we open this door? Uh, which door? Oh, the, which door are you talking about? The one the that's... The kitchen door. Brichio's in front of. Just clicked on, yes. Yeah. Uh, you can open it. Uh, and you can see the kitchen beyond. You see piles of bowls full of salt <laughs> and cured meat with with salt padded all over it. There is sort of like a ton of salt. <laughs> okay, we've found the salt, people. It's a salt mine. Test Ponzi. Now everybody must pay me ten silver pieces for for a teaspoon of salt. <laughs> for access to salt. Uh, Thomasina is currently stunned, so we'll make a willpower check. And wakes up. Well done, Thomasina. And she moves here. And opens this door. Right. Digger. So can I ask just, Mark, so the kitchen seems to have fallen as much as the rest of the tavern? Correct. That's a miss? Uh, what did you get? 16, shouldn't be. Kevin slug two oh, number she got four. Minus three, I think. Kevin slug two number four. You have three strength. It's got armor class fourteen, so I don't know why it's missed. So go for it. Roll some damage. You have wounded the first slug. Well done, digger. There's a move you need to authorize to. Uh, I'm gonna. All right, Kelly the Outlaw is going to try and come to their senses. If I could roll the dice in the box. There we well, go. The slugs are still alive, so it'll be down Dag to... no. <clears throat> Kelly's still out. Members, probably. Better like Kelly. Who's Riffin? Riffin? Riffin. Riffin? Well, they're on. distracted by playing their own guitar. <clears throat> Who's riffing? Don't make Not me go to the character box. <clears throat> All right, Not I'm, me. In, I'm in the character box right now. I've only got three to keep track of now. It's Libby! Easy. Not there, apparently. Right. We've lost Libby. I don't know. She does not seem to be It's better. me. I forgot that I had the thing on mute. And then I was... <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on a minute. Let's see. What's Riffin do? He's the dock worker. And he's got a pulp. And an RPG book. 
he'd be Not worker. He can like uh, threaten to mm -hmm. beat up Ponzi if he doesn't cut him in on the action. So uh, Ponzi said the salt's in there. Correct. Did. And I heard him say that. Yeah, he called it out quite clearly. He also called out that you must pay ten silver pieces to get in. Oops. Right. There aren't many of this crowd's got ten silver pieces. Um. I know somebody that would have an amount equal to it. Okay, what will we do? Up to a tax collector. <laughs> gonna give up taxes and take up salt collecting. Oh, Riffin's gonna go over here to the salt. To the door to the salt and help them get some. Can walk he doesn't in. really have anything to fight with. You can walk in there even. There you go. Oh, can he? Oh, I didn't know I could I, go across I, I, I moved you in. It's okay. Thanks. Okay. Coy. Any salt? Uh, yes, it's on that, <laughs> on that table ahead of you. And also probably some on that shelf beside you. Right. Coy Borbison. We are such an attentive group. <laughs> Uh, Coy Orbison decides... Wait, did someone say they found salt? ...that he's going to run up there, he's going to target that cave slug. Uh, oh, well, the, it's neat, the lighting changed. Cool. Indeed. He hits the slug with a speaker. That's speak. 20, critical hit. Cool. Uh, stunning blow, PC falls to the bottom of the initiative count for the remainder of the battle. Okay, so, but he does strike four. Wow, damage zero? How, how does that work? Minus one strength, maybe? I mean, like, strength seven of them? Yeah, but you're always meant to have a minimum one. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Minimum one damage, so I'll just add that. Unless in. they've got some sort of resistance. Yeah, they don't. Because they're mushy. I mean, mushy re resistance. their resistance was high AC, but I was meant to change that. And I think that's why, by the way, I'll tell you now, their armor class is 14. Um, it's probably registering misses because when it started, they were 18. So, yep. can't do much cool. about that. <clears throat> right. Dregal. Rushes across to his sister, of course. Eighteen's a lot for a slug. <laughs> yeah, they're special slugs, though. Oh, hang on. Who is Dregel's sister? That would make them hard to kill. Oh, build that. No, Poppy. Poppy is Dregel's sister. Oh, well, who's... The bar. Who's build that? Build that's their father. Ah. Uh. You know the house they live in? He built that. <laughs> yeah, but that... oh, wow. Don't encourage him, Libby. That's oh, wow. <laughs> oh, is there experience no. point penalties for that? Yeah, I think so. I think rocks just fell. Um... <laughs> you mean luck points, right? No, I mean rocks. <laughs> um, Rob Pillen has finally gotten out of his his <laughs> funk, and. Moves to that door there. Okay, and then realizes, hey, that's not a door, it's a window. He's he's still a bit <laughs> stunned. <laughs> <laughs> Porge Barrison, after having sort of like robbed all of his uh, his old mate's coin. Just moves over here into an area where there is no slugs. Uh, Yenevive. Alrighty. Yenevive. Um, right. Yenevive is going to attempt a bit of a move here. Um, 
Right. That's about as far as she can get, I believe. Right. Um, and she's just gonna scour at that slug that she couldn't get to. <laughs> so, she gives that slug a good old scare and. <laughs> Next turn, sluggo. Right, one of the slugs. Okay, <laughs> slug one number four. The one down the bottom. Uh, yeah, surrounded by peeps. Doesn't N like near that. the near the rich sorty guy. Doesn't really like that very much. So we'll go five to there, ten to there, which means I need to enter drawing mode. Put a big old slime trail down. And it no also... attacks of opportunity, hang. Huh? No. This is Dungeon Crawl Classics. Nope. Um, and Edward Scissorhands is sluggified. Sluggified. Possibly. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, where are we? He's been slimed. Target Edward Scissorhands. As much as I want the little fella to live. Nah, not with that name. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Uh, oh, he oh he's living. Mm, okay, he's so... a tough little blighter. Well, he's that's... taking a <laughs> I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I feel happy. Okay, so. I need to shave some ice. Uh, however, he does <clears throat> pop an effect as the slime creeps all over poor old Edward Scissorhands. So I'll just chuck that on him, and he can read what that is. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm prone again. Save his slime or die. Twitching uh, on ground for six hours. Oh, God. <laughs> this slug moves over there. May as well be dead. Uh, cave slug number three, number four, I know. Get out of drawing mode. Up around to there. An attack on the way. First strike. Is will I or lysergic? That not drawing. Okay, targeting. Oh, God. Will uh, I? Yeah. Uh, Oh, will I? But the slug misses on its way past. Yeah. Chivuera. Yes. Chivuera. She's um, even functional at the moment. That's good. Um, moving around. This way. Oh, she's How can you me. have two cave, sl cave slugs, two number fours? Wow, trickiness. I'm in pairs. That's right. They've split already. The, the, yeah. They're different encounter creatures and... Oh, actually, they should be cavern slugs, but anyway. And they're asexual. Reproduction and the number, mm. the number next to them determines what type of slime they have. Right. Okay. Um, oh, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, I see. Four so slime comes... is bad. <laughs> it's bad. Okay. Right. Look, three. Is that the one that has the bad slime? What so was that like some kind that? of? About, so was that some kind of heating element that I moved around and behind? No, that's just. Was that a so, table? That's a table. All right. Is there something that I grabbed off the table to throw at the slug? Sure. There are. Right. 
Apples or a big bowl? Grab the big bowl mm -hmm. and want to throw it at the slug. Okay. So go into your actions thing and whatever you got there, change the range to thrown, which looks like a little bomb like I just did. And then just roll the dice next to it. Ah, yes, thrown. Very good. Come here, come here little dice. No. Just double do just double click on the dice. So you've changed it to range. Yep, there. Now double click on that D twenty. D twenty. Ah, okay. next There we go. Yep. Oh. That's bolded. a hit. So we will even say the bowl oh we'll say the I'm gonna just change the can't change one the point of damage bowl. I'll let you do D six with the bowl. There you go. <laughs> Well, there's a, there's a metal bowl. There's a big old bowl. Mm -hmm. Big old bowl. There's <laughs> a big old bowl. But I wasn't even targeting the right slug, so I can't tell how much damage slug number three, number four, slug three, number four, copped out of all that. Okay, so four it points took of damage. four points of damage. So it's moved to heavy damage. Very good. Right. Right. Wombat. Super effective. Is that Wombat moving? It is. Yes. Oh, getting in the way of Kevin Slug 2 on number 4. Why isn't... Why can't I target? Just targeted it for you. But why can't I target? I don't know. Control well, click I targets. I did. I tried that. But yeah. I mean, oh, control it click. It doesn't, doesn't always Sorry. work. That's a hit. That is a hit. Even though it's his piece. Uh, That's another four points of damage. God, they got a lot of damage as well. Yes. Hmm. All right. Stoughton. Stoughton. Slug nearby. <coughs> Let's see here. Um. So I'm going to move to attack the slug if possible. So let's go to there if you'll allow it. Excellent. And then Stoughton with his pick club is going to attack if I target first. It's not really... That one. Oh, yep. We both did it, and we didn't. I'll let you do it. That one. Got yep. it. Okay. Very good. <laughs> oh. All that effort. Unlucky. Righto. Okay. Kevin Stoke, number one, gets to the window. It starts crawling up the wall. Gosh. <clears throat> He's making a break for it. Well, Mike Pubs, a little teetotaling slug. Kevin Slug 2, number 4. Should be mutating into a drop slug. Go. Oh, crap. End up there. Kill, kill that. Or Koi Risen. And just has to decide who's it, who it's going to attack. It's uh, a good old dice roll. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, five targets. D5 would be a D10, wouldn't it? Yeah. We'll give Roy Orbison two out of six. Oh, no, Coy Orbison. <laughs> Things do not look good for our hero. Only the lonely. <laughs> What's happened when you're working for the man? Oh, God, Jesus Christ. <sighs> I really shouldn't have done this. 
Coy Orbison is slimed and end of the line. Dying. Well, no, the end of the line. Uh, we're we're a uh, non-royalty game. It's bend of the vine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, right, and just quietly, let's have a new round. Oh, gosh. Right, that's it there. Yeah, I'm just going to leave their names as is. Righto, so whoever's go it is, you can have your go while I change all these armor classes. Ween! Okay, well, I'm going to head back over behind the bar and check it out for anything weaponizable. <laughs> okay, so there are knives and stuff behind the bar. Okay, and the, the slug... Bit that's nearest the bar was going up the wall, did you say? Correct. Actually, yeah. what I'm doing is not changing their armor class. Just know if you hit 14. Yeah. Are there fire. more slugs? Uh, quite a few yes. more. Coming out of the woodwork. So to speak. We'll also happily look out for anything like bamboo or things that can light things. Okay, well, you can definitely find a dagger so I will drag a weapons oh, who's this it's ween when ween when a bailey so let's the weapon is a dagger that type okay. of dagger. There you go. It's been added. Well, I may as well have a shot climbing up the wall. Or well, me you, next time. No, no, I'll let you have a crack. So mm -hmm. the thrown one would be the thrown thing there. So that's the bottom one. Whoops, only one of those. Doesn't matter, both of these. Correct. There it is. I don't know. Sucks to be sucks to be that crappy. Now I've covered up the combat battle with something, so no worries. Right, I'll go down then, Mimosa. Yeah, I've found it. There we go. I've already done yeah, it. Done it. Ten. Many things. Mimosa runs across and decides as she's running across trying to help her daughter, but Comes face to face with a slug. Throws a cup of beer on it. Twice, apparently. Uh, the first time, she missed, though. Oh, cheap so we'll, we'll pay attention to the first one. Okie doke. Sigourney. Alright, Sigourney wants to have a look up and find out what the ceiling's made of. Um, the ceiling seems to be made of... Uh, like, I mean, there are large, heavy rafters, and it's um, slate tiles. She's going to get up on this table right next to her. It is quite high, the ceiling, too, by the way. Like, how high? Like, probably 12, to 12 feet high. All right, so we're going to stand on this table and mm -hmm. get our 10-foot pole out. <laughs> start poking out the tiles in the ceiling. Okay, no worries. Sounds like a plan. You start poking and you hear the shale begin to fall. The slate begins to fall. You see the the light of some stars beyond. Oh, are you... Oh, are you, why are you running... In the is that running that? Why it went over there. I didn't even move the mouse there. Yeah, that's Go weird. to the end of the line. Anyway. Okay, Giles. All right, so he's over here by this table, and that slug, uh, oh, and there's another slug. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's right, I need to roll some d6s. Yeah, and am, am I still behind table shelter? Oh, crap, no. 
Um, is, is yes. That slug or not? Uh, yeah, the slug can probably move into that area. Uh, there's two two slugs here, so I guess it, there's too many slugs around to probably get away. So we'll have to step up and try and cleaver one. Right I. Oops, did I target that one? No. Yes, no, there we go. Yeah, do it again. First one. First one's a seven, which is a miss. Yeah. <sighs> now we can find it down there, right? Uh, we'll save time. Yes. Success this time. Got it. All right, now awake again. And you can move half your speed. If you want. Half the speed. Oh, I'll head over to this crowd by the kitchen. Dokie. Wow, everybody's crowding around the kitchen. Build the pyramid! <laughs> <laughs> Poppy. Uh, no. Poppy attempts. They're all assaulting the kitchen. Oh. Poppy almost broke free from the slime, but she just quite didn't make it. Lysergic D. Lysergic D. Bad trip, man! Bad trip! <laughs> He's being incredibly sluggish about it. Runs over the door, gets his <coughs> shovel, shovel out, and as a miner, will start digging his way out, creating a stairway. Okay. Happening. You start digging at the dirt. Actually, he's a farmer. He's got a shovel. That's the important bit. Okay. Yeah. It is I'm just doing it. Yes. Actually, yeah. who is the miner? Now he can stand up. Blacksmith. Very true. Cosmonger. Oh, no. Oh, no. Will I? Hmm. Well. If we got Giles, he's up again of eggs. Hmm. Um, the lighting effect for oh, there we go. I just needed to click on him. Never mind. Hmm. Where'd he go? I've lost him. There he is. Roy Coy Borbison is dead, correct? Correct. Or don't has he been looted? No, he has, <laughs> he has not. I'm, be... looking for, I'm looking for a weapon. Ah, okay. Right over oh, here. Oh, sure. He was, a, he was over there swinging a speaker, but like a speaking trumpet. That's what he was using as a weapon. So draw from that what you will about whether he has a weapon or not. And what was he using? Like a speaking trumpet speaker. Oh, uh, speaker. <laughs> I don't really like where I am. Um, I'm about to go up on top of this table here. <laughs> What's Chavira doing? Oh, you have to find out on Chavira's turn. What? No, I mean, is he um awake and moving? And... Yeah, yeah, definitely moving around. Okay. So... Looking for bodies to loot. I love it. <laughs> I just want a weapon. Diddle dee Debra. Alrighty. Diddle dee Debra. Targeting two K slugs, apparently. She's talented. Um, yeah, apparently. She's obviously having a bit of a crack, and neither of them are the one that she's actually been targeting, so I'm <laughs> not sure what's going on there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she was targeting that one. She's going to probably have another crack with the spear. Okay. At. Uh, Ye old ye slug. Jab and a miss. She's Good work, just gonna Debra. keep on camping on the table there with her spear out. So, oh, no. bench press. 
All right. She's quitting being a uh, coward and he's going to, I presume he can step into this slug here. Don't know what I've done there. Target him. And action stations using his chisel. <laughs> oh, that would be a hit. As a 16, which would actually be a hit. Correct. Nice. You killed the slug. Hey. The first slug dead. How rude. Okay, slug three, number four. Just found it and you pressed the damn button and I lost it again. Oops, sorry. <laughs> right, hey. Okay, slug three, number four is gone. You're turning um, the tide. I imagine Edward scissor hands will just lie twitching on the ground. Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much. Does, does a very good job of it, though. It doesn't look like there's anything I can particularly do about that effect. So, looks like he's trying to snip the uh, the scissors towards Matthias's unruly hair. <laughs> well, he was going to try and snip his perch purse pouch. But... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, prone has a little down arrow effect on it. Cool. What are you doing, Matthias? Brave, brave, brave Sir Matthias. <sighs> going to come around here and take a swing <coughs> with his longsword. Cave slug number four, who we think he's still targeting. He is. Oh, and hitting, doing, oh, there you go. <laughs> Double the damage oh, you did last time. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Matthias. That slug is ruining the day of taking on a tax collector. That's for sure. <laughs> that's right. Down arrow, Matt. Good yes, job. No. Brigio. <clears throat> Okay, Brichio's gonna run in here and get some salt. Okay. A whole barrel full. Well, I don't think I can pick up a barrel, but um, what are you moving me for? Because you said you wanted to move in there and get some salt. So I'm moving you to the salt pile. Look, is there a bowl or anything there? Or... Yep, there's a big bowl of salt. You're there, you can grab as much salt as you want. But I don't want to hold it in my hands. Well, then how... Okay, so you're going to pick up the bowl of salt. If it's not too big. It's a, it's a fairly big bowl of salt. But it's not too big. You can carry it. Get some help. There's plenty of people. Why don't you want there's to carry a whole, There's a whole hands? steam running, isn't there? Okay, well, but you can't get much salt in your hands. No, no, carry the bowl in your hands. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I'll get the bowl. Right, right, you pick up the bowl. You now have a bowl of salt. Oh, and I didn't go my full distance. Can I keep moving? No. Getting there, picking up the bowl of salt, making sure you don't spill it everywhere, that's a pretty good turn. I'll tell everybody, I got the salt, I got the salt. <laughs> what a thing to be excited about. These pretzels are back. <laughs> <laughs> mm, bowl um, of... Salt, even in your inventory. Thank you. Go assault some slugs. Ah. Oh, God. God. <laughs> Please bring the tone up, Mr. Fruiterer. Making a run for the door. Why can't I see your character? You should have a plotted, big plotted move. It's ah. a yellower than a bushel of lemons. Burn it up, Kiki. Red. Mr. Guider, put you... Red put... is scrabbling for that window again. Okay, give me another agility check. He's brave, brave, brave. 
Ooh. Okay. Fred, you managed to get your arms up and you're sort of like beginning to claw your way up. So your head is now between the ground outside and the the rest of your body's inside dangling from the window. Oh, yeah. Great position for looting. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Can't feel that. Um, Not knowing anything about this sort of slime stuff does that whoops uh oh okay so we have a number four slime oh that's the same as oh no he probably does know about the slime because poor old edward's on the ground twitching yeah yes he might jump the slime trail he heads this way relic under that relic's dead relic's dead Poor Relic. Long live Relic. <laughs> Alas, poor he- Relic. We knew him not very well at all. Gruntilda. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. He was a full hearted squire that died semi-heroically. Got to put in so... his notes somewhere. Where are we? Log. Notes. Dead. No. <laughs> Judge's notes. Full hearty squire dead. Licked by a slug. The card. Alrighty, uh, Gruntilda has got a fairly reasonable supply of empty salt shakers that she's happy to continue slinging at slugs. So Sounds like a plan. She is going to attempt to sling at this slug. Across the way there. There's a tongue twister in there somewhere. Mm. That's a miss. That is a miss. Ponzi scheme. He wants to go into this room and see what he can see. Okay, there's another big sack of salt on that shelf next to him. (laughs) Did we just lose James? Is that what the noise was? Did I lose yeah. everyone? No, he's still there. Well, I can still hear you. Um, well, why can't I see here. anything now I've gone into that room? Just click on Ponzi again. Can't even see Ponzi, unfortunately. Uh, is the room unlit and he has no No, like, the room is lit. vision? No. Yeah. It just needs to click if he can click on his character. Yeah, but if he can't see character, I'm going to drag your character out somewhere. Can you see him now? Yeah, now I've clicked on him. I'll move him back into wherever he was going. And I'm going to... I'm looking for more salt. and yeah. move further down. Well, no, like there's a big sack of salt right on that shelf next to him. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm calling out. I'm looking for more oh. salt and moving this way. Okay, righto. Bring bowls. Bring bowls. Okay, Thomasina. He's just being a chicken's what he's being. He's looking for salt. Mm-hmm. He's got the best uh, intentions. Thomasina moves in here. <clears throat> Digger. Which one's Digger? That one. Righto. Using his namesake, he will go assist Lysergic in uh, digging a way out. Righto. Sounds fair. Kelly. Ronan stun still. Come on, Kelly, make a save. Kelly, who's got the luck of 19. Let's see if, she, if she's lucky enough to get up. Nope, still out. Jesus. Riffin. Can Riffin grab that bag of salt and head out toward the slug? Certainly can. Well, he's going to grab that salt. Mm hmm.
Can he do anything else when he gets there? Uh, has he moved there yet? No, but he's going to. Oh, you show me where he's going to move and then I'll tell you if he can do something after it. Okay, yes, he may throw some salt upon the slug. Which is what he's going to do. Right, so make a throw and check with any weapon you've got in your thing. Get 10 plus, because all you have to do is hit, touch the slug. Change it to range, is that what you mean? No, not to range, to the bomb looking one, which is thrown. Oh. And then just hit the... Okay, you throw salt all in a perfect circle directly around the slug, none of it actually touching it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Poor it's old. can't move now, though. That's a good move. Poor old Koi's dead. Dregal. Dregal uh, or demons, then... Gets to here. Rob Billen uh, moves in. What do I have to open? Oh, no, that's right. Rob Billen. No, Rob Pillen. Rob Pillen, oh, of course. Moves into the lavatory. Uh, Porge no. Barrison. Goes, holy crap, a slug just appeared near me and uses his sitar as a melee weapon. That slug. And for the beetle spays. Okay, striking the slug for one point of damage. Okay, slug is that under there. Slug four, number two. Right, uh... Yeah. Yenevive. Yenevive, okay. So, there's a slug that's popped up right at Yenevive. Correct. Um, so, Yenevive has got some fabric as well as a flint and steel. Can she fashion a flammable item from that can she attempt to use her flint and steel to light the fabric that's a super large stretch yeah <laughs> you're not wrong <laughs> is there any like fat or oil or anything on the ground she could perhaps soak it in to help out alcohol yeah all that okay uh <laughs> is yenevive a bit of a top shelf drinker is she Absolutely, yeah. she's just plastered like every okay. second of the day, except right now. So she pours her recently purchased pint of vodka onto the cloth that she Perfect. has. Correct, it's exactly what she did. Right, <laughs> give me an agility check to see if she gets the flint and steel off under pressure. All right, holy crap, boys. You have a bolt of cloth well alight. Brilliant. In your hands. <laughs> so brilliant. Does she have the ability to kind of wave it towards the slug at this point? Uh, wow. How much did she want to do in a turn? Um, I mean, you're, that's your call. <laughs> you be the judge. <laughs> okay, I will be. Uh, no, she She's going to sit there, standing there with a bolt of burning cloth in her hands for the round. Perfect. Okay, so like number one, four. But she hasn't got long hair. <laughs> Not anymore, anyway. This one just goes up here. That's all your wages going up in smoke. <laughs> Okay, then this one goes to here. Attacks either Stout and Comp or Mimosa Brace, Brace Girdle on the way past. Uh, odds or evens, Ben? Ben? 
Uh, even, sorry, I was even. muted, yeah, even. Okay, he attacks Mimosa on the way past. Nice. Well, not I mean, for Mimosa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, poor Mimosa. Ouch. She's dying. No good to be her. Uh, Shivera. Shivera needs another bowl. That was remarkably effective. Um, <clears throat> goes over this table, hopes to find a bowl over there. Certainly does. Control time. I uh, wonder if that did it. Yeah, it did. It's yep, good. That actually worked good. Yep. All right. And I'm going to double click on that. Hoik a bow. Oh, hoik a bow. That's and a 15. That's definitely a hit. You definitely hit. Wow. Poor. poor that slug's poor. taking lots of damage. No. Or is it a different slug? Oh, no. It is the same slug. But yes, it's taken a lot of damage. Hmm. <clears throat> Right, okay. Time to find another bowl. Wombat. Wombat strikes the slug. Viciously. Hits. And kills the Hooray. slug. Hooray! Oh, oh, killed it, yay! Marvellous. And then joins the crowd. Okay. Oh, and starts yelling, fire, fire, there's a fire. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Stoughton, uh, the slug that uh, was nearby has disappeared. Off. Hmm. Where did it disappear to? Yeah, I don't know. It was... You killed the wrong one. It was there. Oh, oh did you kill really off the... You did kill off the wrong slug. I did. Uh, so I'm going to... Put that slug back in its place. Uh, so the one that should be dead, which it's had the same dead. name, yep, yep. Uh, is now back to no damage, I think. I'll give it a point of damage, just in case. Right up. Can't recall. All right, so he's up there. He's whizzed on by in a sluggish manner. Mm -hmm. And um, taking out the monster on the way. Um, and Stoughton is um, probably going to. Uh, yeah, I mean, why not? He's going to uh, toddle along here and have another crack uh, at. Giving it a tap on the forehead. No. To no avail. Oh. Ooh, under dark slug. Hmm. That's a lot of slugs left. What, what they killed two? Uh, yeah, but it was a it was a brave effort for killing two. Hmm. Yeah. You should be proud. Right, this one here moves to there and attacks Poppy on the way. Things not going well for that family. <laughs> oh, it might be an opening for an in opener, sure. Uh, in thingy, in keep shortly. It will be. It will go down in history as the great brace girdle uh, yes, tragedy okay. of Lord Mister Twelve. Mister. Dagging this one to there. One's that. 
Ah, it's that one. This one gets out the door, gets out the window. I think that was cavern bacon. <laughs> I think you might be right. Quite possible. <coughs> this one. Oh, that's Thanks. right, that one's already had a go, didn't it? So that one was the one that was meant to have died. Right. Okie dokie. Then... then... The next thing happens. Oh, and this will be where we will leave it tonight. Take it. A sound of rushing air and hissing comes from below your, free, below your feet as a spray shoots upward through the cracks of the floorboards. Salty, frothing water shoots upward into the tavern and begins to swirl menacingly around your legs. This salt water kills all of the slugs. All the slugs die immediately. In fact, there's some horrible, nasty, popping-type sounds. Yeah. Ooh. As they sort of, like, writhe and then die. Uh, so, you go. Oh, actually, I can do this quickly. I just go bang. Biz and pops. Bang. Bang. And all my cave slugs should be gone, but they're not. Lucky Kevin, he got out that cavern bacon. He, like... Obviously, foot loose his way so out that we window. Lose half the weapon, <laughs> <half the weapons, laughs> and relic. Anyone else? I'm the most of those people. Bad trip, man. Bad trip. Yeah, <laughs> the hands is not dead, but he's writhing on the ground. Yeah, Edward Scissorhands is in. Seen better days. He's probably going to uh, drown now. Actually, the water washes the slime off Edward Scissorhands and it stops having that effect on him. However, anybody oh, no. who is... Is there anybody still stunned? Uh, uh, Kelly. Yes. Yeah, yes, there is. Kelly. Poor, Kelly. Poor yeah. Kelly. Okay, Kelly, you get to make a plus 1D um, will save. So you down in your bottom left, there's a, a next to the modifier, there's a plus 1D. Yep. Click on that, and then go and just make a wheel save. It'll upsize your dice. You save. So Kelly is no longer prone or stunned as you stand. Now, um, who's the one halfway through the window? That would be Fred. Fred. Okay, Fred needs to give me an agility check. Another agility <laughs> check. Oh, actually... No, you, you're halfway out. You need to give me a strength check to drag yourself out. Sorry. Okay. All right. Hey! Whoa. Go, Fred! That'll Fred drags himself out. Flexing. Fred is free. Fred is now one of your characters that you may choose continuing forward. Fred will no longer play anything, any part of this adventure. All right. Very good. Fred survives. Uh, Work, as long Fred. as the slug out there doesn't get him. So I'm, <laughs> so I'm deleting Fred from the track. Um, Fred escapes with his cheese dip. He'll be very happy. He does. Um, and it, a barbarian. You see the Digger and Lysergic D are making relatively good progress on sort of like digging a portion of a tunnel away. You're all sort of like staring when you hear the floor uh, grind and ripple and then collapse in on itself. You all start falling again. Falling down, down, down. You splash into water and you get sucked down into a vortex. It's sort of like you're getting sucked into a drain and spun around and spun around again. And then at the end of spinning, you Good find yourself... <laughs> Uh, it was a, yeah, well, it could have been very bad because his Fred had failed his strength check. He was being cut in half by a falling building. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> go, Fred. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so what happens is you fall to the next level. Where's my? Well, it's just full of slugs, maybe, <laughs> or worse. 
Dead uh, slug, dead slug. So I'm going to have to put your tokens onto a new map. Bear with me briefly, I'll read out the stuff for the new map and that's where we'll take up the funnel that's next time we play. It is a lot of tokens. Where we fell. What's that? You didn't tell us where we fell. I'm I'm going to once I put the oh, tokens sorry. on the map and then do that. So I'm gonna say so ask Gandalf. I'm gonna close that map that we're in. This next map is much larger, by the way, and so it will take a bit to load when I get to the point of loading. Uh, we need to... Not when I've got the ND hen. Um, It'll be lightning fast. Well, technically this map is on my machine and it takes a while to open up. Uh... Initiatives clear all initiatives, right. See, there's something happening. Well, it's not loading yet. I'm just putting people into the map. Oh. Is that, oh, is that just the light from the windows on the other thing? Possibly, yeah. You can, you can shut that map now because it's not going to play any future yep. point. Okay. Oh. X Tavernor. Must remember not to put people in that are dead. Yeah, Relic's dead, so... Oh, unless he fought. No one got. I was going to get his sword, but, uh, but missed out. Christ, where are we? Potentially being sucked down a hole out here somewhere. Old Orbo, Orbo Sin, dead. Relic, dead. Mimosa, dead. I should just get rid of him before I continue. Is a hand still alive? Just. Uh, is Con the Futurer on the map? Yes. Diddle Dee. Deborah is not. I feel like she should have been Diddle Dee Diana. Uh, <laughs> Maybe in a future uh, setting she may change her name. <laughs> Maybe she goes into the cleric hood and they force her to change her name. I was considering her perhaps surviving into a cleric. We'll see what happens. I think I just put Nimnathel in. I did. Ponzi! Poppy survived. What the hell? Porge Barrison's alive. Love it. Mm. Most characters are alive so far. Rob Pillen, Sigourney. He's lost half the band. <laughs> Doubting. Good luck getting them back together. <laughs> okay. You were really bothering me. Tomasina, Yenevee, Bench Press. Wow, this is a cluttered area. I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to see either because, yeah, because of reasons. Some of your characters won't be able to see. I better clear that effect on poor old Edward hands too. <laughs> right, and I better put in the things that need to be put in to make sure there are no collisions. <clears throat> okay, I'm about to share the map. I'll read the description while I share the map. Things. <laughs> uh, sharing, share. Okay. Homunculus. Yeah. Uh, multiple eyes from many small, irregularly shaped humanoids glare at you in surprise from the edges of this grand chamber. They seem curious and then afraid as their orange-furred little bodies rise, raise strange tools and they make high-sounding clicking sounds from their mouths as they begin to run through the four exits that leave this chamber. 
Loud creaking and groaning sounds wash the irregularly shaped chamber as it seems only a matter of time before the burning boat in or whatever or what is left of it collapses in on itself and collapses down on top of you all. The floor here is cracked badly, in some places open pits stand, filled with churning water, and it appears pillars made of strange substances have collapsed and left the remaining space of the floor littered with sharp, jagged debris. Giant eyeball! <coughs> <laughs> Giant eyeball. <coughs> can you yeah, see the entire map? Yes. I can see a few circles. Of <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I'm with Tom. I can see a few circles. No, I think I can see the entire map. Oh, well, now, now I can, I can see the I entire click, map. I yep. Click on the character and I could see it all briefly. Now I can. Yep. It's Why can you see the entire map, Kevin? Yeah, you can see. You can see the war. Yeah, you I can got see walls down, well. have you? Well, there are no walls, but there should be terrain in between. Right, I. I can see all my three char- all of my well, three characters, and see I the entire see map. I can see my own. Okay, I'm I can see just Giles. <laughs> I can't see anyone else. I see an eyeball. Well, I <laughs> right, I. Well, I'm gonna kick I you. I click on them and see shadows. I can see some shadows now too. I'm in a middle chamber. Yeah. Somebody saw I'm that. blind. I'm blind. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to probably go back and remake this map, but that's essentially where you are at the okay. point. Because I've removed, I did remove all the walls because I wanted the natural chamber walls to be sort of thing. But really, I want it should. Just you just draw the walls a little bit further in. Are you going to paste in the rest of the description? Uh, yeah. Ah. Yeah. It's really annoying. Terrain doesn't block views. Some of the characters can't see bugger all, but... I can see some of the light sources. right I Okay. I think, um... The one character of mine that couldn't see much was the one that didn't have infravision. Yeah, so that's good to know that infravision's working. Yeah. In fact, the ones with infravision can see the entire map. Everybody else is sort of like black, but they can see where the lights are. Yeah. So, hmm. Righto, so that's where we'll leave it. Um, So we'll play again in a fortnight. That was fun. I was hoping to get a lot further than this, but, you know, we had a bit of a slow start. And then I forgot the effect of having 24 characters characters (laughs) on the map, plus a few NPCs, and then the number of slugs. Uh, But she's all a whole lot of turns. Mm. It was a whole lot of turns, but it was fun. Yes. It was. Funny. So, very good. I'll say goodbye to our Twitch viewers, who we probably didn't have any of, but, uh, you know, let's see. Show viewers. That's right. Seven of Nine is offering to um, assist you with those numbers. Yeah, well, that's right. Not that I can clear that. However, technically, we've got quite a few viewers, so all good. Thank you very much for watching. We will be playing again in a fortnight despite my twitch channel saying that it's every week because my twitch channel cannot handle fortnightly games apparently oh, stupid <laughs> american software well yeah what? and americans it's call a buy call a fortnight bi-weekly but to me bi-weekly means you do it twice a week yeah so um, I, don't, I don't know do you remember i'm gonna be in australia yeah you oh yeah I did that. You're going to see your sister, didn't you? Aren't you? Yeah, um, the first through the fourth, so I'll be gone when we're play when we're supposed to play. The first to the fourth, the next. The ceiling, oh yeah, it? okay, right. Oh uh, yeah, Kevin's got games on the other weeks. Um, we will see. It might be just a case that I might have to take over your character. I did sort of like, okay. we've got these numbers so we can actually play if one of us can't make it. If it comes That's on, fine. then it might be a thing. But yeah. All right. Um, thank you, people from the internet. Bye. Yep. Oh, they're gone. <laughs>